<laughs> Welcome! Ooh, this is actually kind of warm. Snorlax has got a fever over here. That's some hot coffee. Holy moly. Good to see you guys. Thanks so much for coming. Hello, welcome back for even more Pokemon. Pokemon! We're going to be jumping through and getting a lot more Pokemon to fill up this deck. So what's our goal for today? How many Pokemon should we catch? Uh, we're at 80 out of 400. And, oh my gosh, why did it do zero? Man. I'm messing around with these things. Give me that. We're uh, 80 out of 400, and I'm really hoping that uh, we get uh, a good way of figuring this out. Let me see if I can make the initial value 80. Uh, there we go. And then I can press 1 for extra 1. I can hold for minus 1. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Okay, okay. Let me know if the counter gets off, all right? This is our first time um, jumping around with uh, a little counter in the top corner. Uh, we also have a shiny counter in the top corner, too. I have zero shinies, but I haven't been shiny hunting, so honestly, it doesn't even matter. It's good to see you guys. Thanks so much for coming. Um, hi. Hi. How are you? What's new and exciting? How have you been? What is going on? I worked uh, a little bit on a tutorial video today, and I would love it if you guys would come on over and show it some love. I tried something new, and I hope that you like it. All right, so I'm going to show you guys really quick right here um over here on the main channel page welcome to it if you didn't already subscribe thank you so much for hanging out uh right over here i put a, a tutorial video on how to get king gambit and not only did i show you guys a tutorial on how to get him but i took it a step further and talked about some competitive um gameplay mechanics like we talked about his level up moves we talked about his egg moves his tm moves and some competitive builds um i really enjoy competitive pokemon and like theory modding some different pokes um, so that's something new and I want you guys to give me your feedback on it. So when you can jump into that video, uh, drop a comment saying that you're here from episode six, I'll give a heart to it and then, uh, give me some feedback. Do you like that kind of stuff or do you really not care about competitive battling and you just want to know how to find the Pokemon and go from there? Anyway, I want to hear all about it and, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So thanks so much for coming. What's up? Two kids and a dog. Hello, everyone. Jasmine in the house. Lainey, good to see you, too. Haley, uh, Drunken, CJ. Uh, who else is here? Who else is coming out? What's up, Bloodsport? What's up, Ben? What's up, Griffin? Good to see you guys. Alana, thanks for hanging out. Mm. William, L with five exclamation marks. Gracie, good to see you. Hello, hello. Angela, Clara Possum, good to see you, too. Hi, hi. Floptimus. Hey, long time to see. How have you been? I presume you're not watching for spoiler reasons. Uh, <laughs> I think that's the last I heard of you. Uh, good to see you. Nicole, awesome. Hello. Uh, Paige, Princess Luca, all of you guys. Thanks so much for coming. Um, one more thing before we get started. Uh, I did want to give some shout outs to Ryan and Ariel. Uh, they are actually on board with some really, really fun uh, Abdallah merch. Um, head on over to AbdallahSmash.com and you'll be able to see some really fun stuff such as the merch, uh, but more importantly, the play sessions. That's actually one of the things that uh, makes for a great upcoming holiday gift, if you guys didn't already know it. I'm offering um, to hang out with you guys for 30 minutes, 60 minutes, anything that you want. So uh, Ryan and I had Ariel over here book a couple of these. So we're going to be hanging out a little bit later on in the week. And we just schedule it out. We play some games. If you want some exclusives on Pokemon, I'll absolutely send them over to you. You choose whatever game and we get to play together, which is so fun. Anyway, tons of things happening there. So check it out at dollasmash.com. And it's also pinned too. All right. All that stuff is done. Let's do it. Let's do it. Springy, good to see you too. I always love giving shout outs to everyone here. What's up, Mitty? Uh, Springy, hi. Uh, who else is here sneaking in? Uh, Paige, Princess Luca. Who else? Hi. Good, good. Made it in cross country state. Oh, that's so good. Griffin, congratulations. Um, who else is here? Uh, H. Fenton, always a pleasure. How are you? Mm. Vendit, what's going on? All right. You guys ready? We're gonna go catch some Pokemon. Man, my body's like really warm now because I was drinking that hot coffee through a straw. Yikes, man. All right, you guys ready? I don't know who we're gonna catch. What do you think, like 20? Should we try to get 20 today? 25? 30? I don't know, man. All right, 
Let's get this going. I am ready to fill up this Pokedex. As you can see over here, 80 out of 400 is exactly what we have on the screen here. So I'm excited for it. We've only battled 210 different species. So let's kind of walk around and see who we can get and uh, essentially go from there. Uh, oh, wow. Garchomp's going to do some work. Uh, I should actually... Wow, there's a Raichu there too. Yeah, there's actually a lot of Pokemon that we don't necessarily have. So I'm really excited to just get into it. Get my hands dirty and let's knock this out. What's up, Raichu? Let's do it. Let's get as many of these Pokemon as possible. I don't have that many Quick Balls. I just noticed that. So we should actually go back up to the surface, collect some Quick Balls, and then uh, just jump in. Oh, that's great. Watch this. Watch this. 81. <laughs> oh, that's cool. And we get to read some really fun uh, Pokedex entries and kind of learn about Pokemon too. It's great. Uh, here's Raichu. Its tail discharges electricity into the ground, protecting it from getting shocked. Oh, cool. Always looked like he had, like, pierced ears at the very... I remember seeing him for the first time when I was a kid. Back in middle school, I saw Raichu in that episode where Pikachu battled Raichu. Wasn't that fun? Alright, here we go. Let's get 82. I don't think I have a giraffe rig. It was good. One. Wow, okay, you gonna play like that? Those things munching on me. Bunch of crunch. Let me do a little bit of, um, false sweat. We'll do that. We'll do two false sweat. Wow, probably three false swipes. It's fine. So, uh, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited for just the continuation of the series. I know a lot of you guys expressed interest in seeing some more Pokemon and just going out and seeing what the world is filled with. So I am so pumped to deliver that. Here's a Dusk Ball, because we're kind of in a cave, right? That makes sense. Let's do it. Wow, okay, great. I'm just going to use an Ultra Ball, and we're going to get out of here. I mean, the best strategy is literally just walking away. Walking away and then redoing the battle with another quick ball. That's so big brained. And who knows? We might find a shiny Pokemon today. Ah, uh, the odds are like 1 in 4096, so maybe not. Alright, looking good. Giraffe, a rig. Look at that. So, uh, the wow, look at that. Though very small, the brain in its tail is still considered an important organ because it emits powerful psychic energy. That's really fun. 82, man. We're two Pokemon in. Look at that. All right, we got to catch one one every two minutes or else. Um, wow, look at Wall Sableye. <laughs> oh, gosh. Help me with this game. All right, moving on, moving on. All right, so we did say that we were going to go back up to the surface and go shopping. So let's go over here to Madali West. Uh, we need to go buy some Quick Balls uh, because that is going to be one of the best ways of catching Pokemon in the game. We've already done our Premier Ball challenges. Like, those are done for now. I could go get the uh, the Chinese uh, mythological Pokemon or the Ruinous Pokemon. We can get those soon, but I don't know. I'm just in the mood to, like, find a random field and then collect all the Pokemon in the random field. Like... A lot of people have done at since the beginning of the game, right? Remember, we played the game in a way that we wanted to beat it as fast as possible so that we have access to great balls, so we have access to quick balls, all that stuff. I kind of want to buy a hundred of these things, man, because I feel we're going to need them. So let's burn it. There we go. I spent a hundred thousand on quick balls. And we got ten premier balls out of it. Uh, Dusk Ball, I'll take a couple of those. Give me like 20. Yeah, we're good. Let's do it. Let's do it. Wall Sableye, man. Yo, he's a rock type. <laughs> Get it? All right. Wow, we got some, wow, dittos around here. I don't have ditto, but we'll, we'll get them. We'll get them. I'm just going to take a spin around the map and see what kind of mass outbreak Pokemon there are. There's one in the top corner, a question mark. Don't really know who that is. Here's a Swablu outbreak in case you want it. Uh, there is a... Wow. Yeah, I don't really see too many more. Did you guys see anything? Oh, there's a Golduck all, all the way over there, but uh, it doesn't matter. Okay, so I think we should go back to the Zero Gate. We can catch a lot of 
strong Pokemon over there, and then we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Nice. And then, like, I wish that there was a button where I can just, like, auto-sort the Pokemon. If we're going to be really going for a full, like, full-on 400 Pokedex, like a living Dex, that would be so fun. Anyway, uh, Corviknight, I don't think I have. So I'm just going to throw my Pokeball right up at it. Corviknight's going to be pretty strong. Um, yeah. Yeah, and then we have these little guys that are onlookers. Alright, so I'm just going to try some liquidation over here. And then I'll proceed to use... Wow. We'll probably get away with another one. Should I risk it? Yes or no at home. Who said no? <laughs> hey, who said no? Well, you were right, whoever said no. Alright, here we go. Metacham. Versus... Me! Okay, little garlic head over here. Alright, I got him, I got him. You know, I don't know why I didn't just throw a quick ball. Um, on the Corviknight. I don't know. I'm in a different mindset over here. He looked really tough. Like, this is a baby over here, and we'll absolutely get that. Okay, so here we go. 83. Done. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Excellent. We got some Metatite Sweat. Capsulized. Uh, it never skips its daily yoga training. It heightens its inner strength through meditation. Wow. Really cute. Okay. Okay. Do it. Ding. We're going to get that Metacham right next to us, too. Oh, he's right here. Hello. Let me see if I can run behind him. Ugh. <laughs> it's not a thing. All right, here we go. Metacham. Now, does he have really thick thighs, or are those his parachute pants? I don't know. Wow. Okay, I copied my stat changes. Well, congratulations. That didn't do much. Wow, great. Cool. Didn't get it. Okay, don't worry. We'll find another Metatite. Metacham. Oh, I don't have Jump Luff. Come here. Just right in the back. Burn an arrow. Okay, Jump Luff, man. Let's do it. Let's learn about Jump Luff today. Jump up is a flying grass type. It's actually pretty fast, too, from what I remember. A critical capture, yeah? Maybe? Okay, cool. I'm in. 84. Great. Garchomp learning a new move. Takedown. Absolutely not. We would never, never do that. Okay, here we go. Jump Bluff travels on seasonal winds. Once its cotton spores run out, its journey ends. As does its life. What? Once its cotton spores run out. What are you talking about? Wow, that that's pretty interesting. Alright, you guys are keeping me honest on my Pokemon count, right? We're at 84? Floet. All right, come on, Floet. Yeah, that was pretty dark. I, I was not expecting a dark turn because it's like a happy Pokemon. It's like a little puff of pollen. Apparently not. Flabebe pollen, okay. Let's see, single bloom Pokemon. Floet that are fond of white flowers can also easily sync with the flowers of other colors. Great, cool, good to know. Yeah, Pokemon is, is quite interesting. Alright, well we gotta evolve it into Florges, so a big brain strategy would to put it would be to put it in my team right now and passively get experience as I'm catching, but honestly, it doesn't even matter. Trust me, we'll go we'll go getting some experience sometime soon. Alright, here we go. Here's Corviknight. Oof. 
See, throwing a Pokeball like that reminds me of Legends Arceus so bad. And it makes me want to play that game all over again. Legends Arceus? Hmm. What do you think? Was Legends Arceus better than all of Scarlet Violet? It's tough to say, man. Ow. Are we doing this? Ah, uh, I think that there's a lot of aspects of, of Legends Arceus that were a lot better than this game. I just love the ability to move around and dodge roll out of the way. Pokemon will attack you. That was so cool. Alright, we got ourselves a Corviknight. Do I have it? Yes, I do. Boom. Corviknight can't serve as a taxi service in Paldea because the Pokemon's natural predators will attack it while it flies, endangering the customer. I'm sorry. Who's a natural predator to a giant bird made out of steel? No way. No way. Who is that? Okay, you tell me in the comments right now. All of you guys at home. <laughs> Who? A giant bird made out of steel has a natural predator that also flies high into the air? Mm, I don't think so. No, no, no. I don't, I don't think so, man. That's, that's not right. Alright, there's a Corviknight. Oh, we can attempt to find a Venomoth. Yeah, I'll just find out, like, who's around this area. We'll spend some time in the crater. There's a lot of good Pokemon over here, including Jumpluff. And Venomoth. Venomoth! Alright, cool. Do it. Alright, get ready. Venomoth? Hmm. Wow, look at that critical capture. I'm into that. 87. Bing! The counter is actually working out pretty well. I'm very happy about that. Okay, the wings are covered with dust-like scales. Every time it flaps its wings, it l looses highly toxic dust. Oh my gosh. You do not want to be breathing near that thing at all. Alright, any other Pokemon in this crater that we need to look out for? I've seen Venomoth. We've got all the Paradoxes. I mean, you've got, ooh, Skidoo and Knackly. Yo, we got all these guys. Come here. Uh, go Goat, Knackly, Stackle Tackle. I don't remember his name. <laughs> all right, give me this Go Goat. Oh, so Tinkaton says that it battles Corviknight. Yeah, that doesn't necessarily mean that you can't fly in the air. Tinkaton is grounded. There's no way that it would be a threat. I don't know. You're going to have to tell me the wild world of Pokemon. Here's Go-Goat. Okay, Go-Goat's data has been added. It can sense the feelings of others by touching them with its horns. This species has assisted people with their work since 5,000 years ago. What? 5,000 years? How does Professor uh, Jacques know that this thing existed 5,000 years ago but doesn't know about, like, Screamtail. Screamtail predates 5,000 years? You think about how... Man, I don't know. <laughs> These entries are quite interesting. How he can't give me a Pokedex entry for any of the Paradox Pokemon, but he knows that this thing existed 5,000 years ago? How? Elaborate, please. Alright, goats. I need these little rocks. Oh, and a Talonflame? Cool! Get it! Oh, I love Talonflame, man. Talonflame Gale Wings, man. Oh, so good. One, two, three. Oh, look at that. Okay, okay. So, Tinkaton, you're saying that Tinkaton throws its hammer in the air <laughs> in order to get... Um, Wild Coronite? Wow, what a joke. That's... That's real. 
So I guess, yeah, I guess he can't be in a taxi service because there's small little Pokemon throwing hammers at it from ground level. What an existence. Dude, come on, man. I don't have time for this guy, Acrobatics. I mean, if Tinkaton ha is able to wield the hammer, I'm sure Tinkaton can legit throw the hammer very far. Alright, let's do this. One, two, three, and catch. There we go. Look at the one-up mushrooms. I gotta go catch them. Okay, so we got ourselves a Talonflame. We good with 89? Yeah, we're catching these things like one a minute almost. It's been pretty good so far. Uh, Top-notch flying capabilities. It flies around easily, even while carrying prey that weighs more than 220 pounds. Wow. That's pretty strong. Good to know. Ding. Okay, so we gotta go get Fletchender. Dude, no! I'm gonna get picked up by this thing. Alright, alright. Good, good, good. Alright, alright. I gotta go get this. Stack attack. Stack attacka. <laughs> no, it's not stack attacka. It is knackle stack. That is Minecraft, the Pokemon. I hope you guys realize. Alright, we caught level 2 Minecraft. Survival. What's it called? Minecraft, um, Enderman? Just throwing out buzzwords over here. Help me. Uh, this Pokemon dry cures its prey by spraying salt over them. The curing process steals away the water in a prey's body. What? Wow, okay. Learning about the hunting that this rock does. Dry curing. Maybe that's how they have uh, pepperoni. So we've got all of these guys doing some dry curing of... <laughs> Lechonk? Could that be it? Alright, I gotta get me a 1-Up Mushroom. Okay, so I, ha I own the 1-Up Mushroom. I got Knackley. Okay, whoa! Braviary! Excuse me! Hi? I did not see Braviary anywhere. That's really fun. Okay, Braviary is here. Braviary is... That's like America, the Pokemon. Oh, come on, America. We live in America. Oh, and there's another Pokemon I don't have. So Braviary is like red, white, and blue. Although, isn't it... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I was thinking Togekiss. Togekiss is also like a red, white, and blue. America. Wow, okay. Uh, this thing just wants to fight. So here we go. We're gonna fight. Um, I'm not gonna liquidation. I'm gonna do a couple false swipes and then we'll catch it. That's like four hits. I don't have time for four hits, man. We gotta go quick. One more. Let's do it, let's do it. Boom, okay, here it is, Ultra Ball time. And I, I promise you I'm not gonna misclick my Master Ball. I promise you. Wow, great. Now Garchomp gets KO'd. Oof. 89 out of 400, man. We're almost there. Let's go. Let's go. Yo, the ground. What? 1 HP Braviary. Let's go, man. 1, 2, 3. Wow. Congrats. And you used Whirlwind? Oh, I was gonna say, man. I'm, I'm here for good. Don't you dare. Is a T-Wave, enjoy. If it used Whirlwind, doesn't that like end the battle? Or am I very thinking old school and they change that? When did they change that? Okay, so back in my day, if a Pokemon used Whirlwind, a wild Pokemon used Whirlwind against you, 
Like, it would end the battle, and then they'd be gone. You'd lose the encounter. It's based off of level? Hmm. Didn't know that. I don't know. Braviary. The more scars they have, the more respect these brave soldiers of the sky get from their peers. Oh, wow. Okay. Brave soldiers. Pretty interesting. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go get some low kicks over here. This guy is probably one of the more annoying Pokemon. He's like a robot bug. Low kicks. I'm pronouncing it that way because... He's like a locust. Um, and he kicks. Because he's kind of like a little fighter. A little fighter guy. What's... Tell me the origin of the name. L he's a grasshopper. Like a locust. Right? When it decides to fall... Uh, fight all out, it stands on its previously folded legs to enter showdown mode. It neutralizes its enemies in short order. Wow. That thing is three foot tall, too, man. You better watch out. That's taller than you. Okay, so low kicks. Oh, I gotta put that in the decks. Yeah, 91? Let me see. Yeah, 92. Oh, wow. I missed one for or a rufflet. Braviary. Okay. No one's calling me out on that, huh? Okay, okay. We're not paying attention. Neither am I. It's all right. Is that Fletchinder? No, it's Talonflame. Okay, I got a rare bone. We're good, we're good. So we're gonna find some other rare Pokemon in this area here. Oh, Metacham? I still need him because I knocked him out, unfortunately. Let's do it. Metacham, Parachute Pants. It's time. Quick Ball, go. Boing, boing. Interesting. Great. Love that. Let's do it. One more. 93. Oh, we're gonna get to 100, man. This is, this is like, so easy. And this is what I foresaw, too, right? Okay, through yoga training, it gained the psychic power to predict its foe's next move. Whoa. So if you do yoga, guess what happens? Guess what happens if you do yoga as well? Huh. Fascinating. All right, we're moving out. Oh, Floet, I didn't even see you. Oh, I need the Farigaraf. Yeah, we're gonna go get Farigaraf right now. He's right over that way. He's got the Chain Chomp on his head. It's gonna be a fun one. Do, 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 do. Farigaraf. So it just became a, a bigger giraffe? Is that what happened? Got him. Sweet Farigaraf. And I do have Giraffe Rig, so we're fine. Farigaraf is a is a palindrome, right? It's spelled the same way forward and backwards. Yeah, it is. Okay, great, cool. Now that the brain waves from the head and tail are synced up, the psychic power of this Pokemon is ten times stronger than Giraffe Rigs. Huh. Fascinating. Ten foot tall. Oh, well, that's really big. Okay, so we got those both. I'm excited, man. We Oh, hi. Hello. I'm looking for the blue nose one. Uh, is there a blue nose giraffe in the house? That's all I'm looking for. Don't really care about anything else. All right. Wow. So we need to keep going. Okay, Screamtail, nice to meet you. Whoa, okay. I don't know why I jumped down, but that's all right. We're almost done with all these Pokemon in the area. Raichu? No, I don't need him. Slitherwing? We're good. I'll take this, though. Dragon Dance. DD, huh? Okay, okay. That's good. Venomoth? You know, I think... I think this is all of them outside of Bisharp. Any other Pokemon you remember down here? Corviknight, Flying in the Air, Giraffe, a Rig. It's kind of just chilling yeah if we go all the way down to ground floor we should be able to get the rest of the pokemon 
Raichu. I remember Palmy and Palmo are floating around over here. Ready. Oh my gosh, what happens if you go in the middle here? I don't actually know. I I, I kind of don't want to find out either. <laughs> I'm like, what is that? I thought we were in the crater. Does that take you all the way to the to the bottom? There's a bold mint. Okay, there's going to be some exclusive in the, uh, Pokemon in the water. So let's look around. Oh, Buizel. Great. A big Buizel. You remember Big Buizel and Floatzel? <laughs> Golduck we got. Uh, so this is kind of fun, seeing Pokemon near the water. Oh, there's the Flamingo, too. Yeah, the Flamingo Pokemon. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> He's like, aha, can't see me. Well, I mean, if it's in the water, sure. It's great. Okay, with its flotation sack inflated, it can carry people on its back. It deflates the sack before it dives. Oh, that's a sack, huh? Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. okay, okay. I got you. 95. I've got Buizel, so we don't have to worry about it. Ooh, Masquerade. Cool. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go. Masquerade. Cool. You know, Masquerade's a Pokemon that you don't really think about. Like, how did Masquerade even make the cut of the 400 Pokemon here? Like, you gotta ask yourself that. Like, when you think of all the bug Pokemon in the game, why Masquerade? I mean, you think about Butterfree, you think about... Name name any bug Pokemon at home, that, that the first bug Pokemon that comes to mind. I don't think it's ever going to be Masquerade. Anyway, here we go. Number 96, moving on. Uh, Hyper Beam? No thanks. I still have... I remember Dragonite using Hyper Beam in Generation 1, man. Uh, it flaps its four wings to hover and fly freely in any direction, to and fro and sideways. What are those things coming out of its head, though? Talk to me. I don't know. But we got it! And we got Surskit, so we're good with that entire evolution line. Oh, there's Bisharp. I'm gonna take Bisharp real quick. This isn't the Bisharp that I want. Um, I need to go get a Leader's Crest Bisharp. Wink, wink. You guys already know. Do I want to even waste my time with this one? I don't. No, we need a Leader's Crest one. We need a Bisharp with babies. So if you see a Bisharp in the wild and it has babies, that's the one you want. I'm going to pass on him. But I do need that Flamingo, so where did it go? Oh, there you are. Hello, Flamingo. Miami. You know, that name is very clever. Flamingo. Um, yeah, yeah that's good. There's nothing special about this design, though. But it does scream Pokemon. Like, when I'm looking at it, yeah, that is absolutely a Pokemon. Okay, uh, we're still at 97 now? Okay. We're gonna, we're gonna get to, like, 100. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna send that to boxes. Alright, we're gonna get to 100. There's a couple new Pokemon over here. I could go get Bisharp, but... I think we're gonna pass. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's nice try. Catching Pokemon. Ah, looking around. Bisharp with babies. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Alright, we're looking. We're looking. Uh, that is a brute bonnet. Ugh! Who's this? Dude, Flabebe's friend. No, thank you. You know, I think we're good. I think we've exhausted all the Pokemon in the area. I got Gibble. I got Gabite. Uh, we got a lot of Pokemon. Screamtail's good. Citrus Berry. Yeah, I think I think it's time to leave. All right. We've fully explored this area. I want to say minus Bisharp. So we can literally pick and choose anywhere we want to go in the overworld. And we can just start catching Pokemon. So, where do you want to go? 
right? That's the big question. Where do you want to go? I'm gonna take one. Oh, that, that's a Volcarona. Hello. Okay, great. I have not seen a Larvesta anywhere, but I'll take this. My 98th one. All right, let's talk about where we want to go for the next one. We can go uh, around like the the northeast, which is the giant ice mountain. We can go to the south. We can go to the west, which is the desert. There's so many different areas uh, on where we can go get uh, some new Pokemon. So, the world is all cloister. Where do you want to go? Taking suggestions and we'll go there. As long as you guys are here. Dude, what? This guy. Wow. We could go to the mountains. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of ice Pokemon in the mountains. For sure. Here we go. Go, go, go. This Pokemon's not allowing me to do any damage to it. I could Thunder Punch it and try, but I'm gonna try one more Quick Ball and then we're gonna call it. Here we go. Oh, we can absolutely climb. We can go to anywhere we want in the game. Okay, okay, I'm done with this guy. We're gonna get him. I just have to actually put in the legwork and actually catch him. All right, here we go, T-Wave. All right, T-Wave up. Here comes a Thunder Punch. Should give it... Ooh, and he's got X to Leech Life? That's not good. Yeah, I don't like Leech Life. It hurts. Here you go, Thunder Punch. Great. That's Ultra Ball worthy. Thank you so much. This is a tricky bug indeed. Here we go, big bug buzz. You ever think about that? Like, what is a bug type move? Right, flamethrower fire type moves are made out of fire. Water type moves are made out of literal water. Electric moves are made out of electricity. What is a bug type move I don't like this thing it's rude you know I might as well just use my ultra or sorry my master ball on him right no way ah <sighs> A bug type move could be a bite or poison. Uh, I mean, there's already moves called bite, and there's already an entire category called poison. So it's got to be its own thing. Makes you itch? I don't know. Anyway, we got ourselves a Volcarona. Cool. I was not expecting it to get this thing so early. Uh, its burning body causes it to be unpopular in hot parts of the world, but in cold ones, Volcarona is revered as an embodiment of the sun. It's a beautiful Pokedex entry. Thank you. All right, uh, 98, yeah? I hope we got it. I think I've been paying attention. Hey, okay, 98. Hey, that's not too bad. That is not too bad at all. I think it's time that we go to the surface and we continue finding even more Pokemon. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here, guys. All right, make up your minds. Where are we going? Oh, what? Where are we going? You want to go to the ice mountain? We can go over to the desert. Uh, we got the prairie fields. We can literally take a block of the Paldea map at a time. Let's take a look over here. Look. So we can start like right over here, in like the the beginning of the game, then kind of work our way over this way and make our way towards this little desert. Then we can go over here. We can actually take a lap all the way along the waterfront. Catch all the water Pokemon all over the place. Uh, there's also another desert here. There's some caves, some mountainous areas, some fields. There's a really cool corridor right over this way. We have the entire ice mountain right over here. 
There is a, a forest right over here. Um, there's some swampy marshes this way. There's another little desert. Wherever you guys want to go, we're going to go. All right. You guys ready? Cool. Let's do it. All right. So looking at this, a lot of you guys are saying desert, uh, icy mountain, icy mountain, ice, ice, baby. Alana wants the snowflake and mountain. Uh, Sarah says desert. Uh, I'm waiting for someone to spell desert with two S's. That's kind of what I was hoping for. Yo, what's up, Ravenstar? Good to see you. Thanks for coming. Uh, I guess we're going to the mountain. A lot of you guys want to do the mountain, so let's do it. Okay, we're here. It's time. It is time for more Pokemon Scarlet. Let's go over to the mountain, shall we? I think we're... Wow, there's a lot. There's a lot happening over here in this mountain, so I'm ready. Winter is coming. And we're here in the mountain time. Let's do it. I'm excited. Okay, let's take a look and see what we have in the world of the mountain. I'll bring Garchomp over here because Garchomp can absolutely take all of these ice type attacks, can't he? All right, how many ice types? <laughs> All right, great. We got the judge function. Thank you so much. We already knew that. Thanks, bye. Okay, thanks, bye. Bye bye. Okay, here's the mountain. Any Pokemon that we see is fair game. We're gonna just, we're just gonna go in and catch it. It doesn't even matter. All right, going up this mountain. Here we go. This mountain. M O U N apostrophe N. Hello, Frost Moth. Cool. Excellent. Whoa. Is that shiny? Dang it. That would have been cool. Alright, here we go. Uh, quick ball, go. Mound. You guys know about mounds? There's no T in the word mountain. <laughs> That's what I found out <laughs> earlier. <laughs> like, you're not from around here, are you? I'm like, uh, how can you tell? Like, if they said, because you pronounce the word mountain with a T. Frostmoth senses air currents with its antenna. Uh, it sends its scales drifting on frigid air, making them fall like snow. Wow. Can you imagine a 92-pound bug that's a moth in the air that causes it to snow? Oof. No way. All right, here we go. Let's take a look at this little boy. Snow Runt. I have him. Oh, dang it. All right, I already have this little guy. Moan. I have Grievard. Do I have Bergmite? I do not. Ugh. Can I just? Can a guy just throw a quick ball? <laughs> Isn't? Hold on. Wait a second. Isn't that the same concept? Me throwing a quick ball without battling is the same thing as me throwing a quick ball outside of battle. Why didn't they just program that at the end of the game, right? Okay, so here we go. Hear me out, hear me out. Allow your character to throw quick balls after you beat the game without engaging in battle because you're going to do that anyway. Uh, they live in mountainous regions of frigid cold. On rare occasions, they ride on the back of an avalug to cross seas and move to new habitats. Cool. Love that. That's great. Boom, 100. Oh, let's see some big 100 hype. Wow. Ah, uh, that's great. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. Beautiful. That totally didn't just sneak on past. Hey! All right, who's next? Who's next? Snover? Snover. Pull over. Squee wee. You know how to tell a male Snover and a female Snover? They've got a visual difference on the outside. It's pretty cool. Actually, I don't... I do remember. It's got, like, pants, right? I think the the guys have the higher waist, the brown extra ridge, and the females don't. I think that we just caught a female because it's got lower pants. It's like bikini lines versus, like, work pants. I don't know. squee wee -oo. You see that extra, like, zigzag over here? If that's filled, it's uh, a different gender. During cold season, it migrates to the mountain's lower reaches. It returns to the snow-covered summit in the spring. Oh, great.
Yeah, because on that cover, on the cover was a male, and we caught a female. Kind of interesting. Obama Snow, I don't think, has any tells of, of genders at all. Snow warning. It failed because it's already snowing. What? <laughs> One, two, three, and catch. That is a big Pokemon. We just caught in a quick ball. I love that. 101, man. 101 or 102? Thank you. 102. Gotta keep me honest, man. All right. It lives a quiet life on mountains that are perpetually covered in snow. It hides itself by whipping up blizzards. Yeah, so it's like an abominable snowman or a frost tree. Because that's the first thing that I think of when I look at that Pokemon. It looks like a frost tree. All right, Delibird, Cub Chew. I got all of you guys over here. Uh, I saw a Cub Chew. I got that guy. Oh, dang, Glalie, hello. A floating head. Floating head Pokemon. Remember we got a shiny alpha? Oh my gosh. In Pokemon Legends Arceus, we caught a shiny alpha Glalie. Was that not the coolest thing ever? Get ready. I think that was the coolest thing ever, man. Pokemon Legends Arceus did it right. Alpha Pokemon, they were just so gigantic, right? Wow. Ooh. Yo, Ice Fang. Ow! Ow, 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 ow. I'm out. Glalie's hard. Glalie's hard to catch, but we'll get it. We'll get it. It's not going any. Oh! Come on, dog! Yo, that Glalie floating head just floated away. If I lose it because I stepped on a dog. Oh, that thing is, that is floating away. Are you kidding? Where is it going? Give me that. All right, all right. Well, I can't wait. Yeah, see, shiny hunting in Legends Arceus was absolutely the bomb diggity. It was great. I don't know what the bomb diggity means, but that means good. Uh, but trust me, we're gonna do some really fun shiny hunts in this game too. It'll be good. Okay, so here we go. 103, man. Let's go. Call it. Call it for what it is. Its prey is instantaneously frozen stiff by the cold air it exhales from its huge mouth. While they're in that frozen state, it gobbles them up. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yikes. With those perfectly straight teeth of theirs? I do not want to find out, man. No thanks, ma'am. That is, that is, I'm not into that. That's very scary. So if he wanted to, he could have just exhaled. And I would have been frozen stiff. And he would have just eaten me. Alright, here we go, Delibird. Wow, Delhi actual bird. No, not happening. I did see a frost last in the area. I did. <laughs> Can you imagine? That's like a full arm motion, like right in front of it. Ugh. Thank you. Beautiful. 104, man. Keeping it up. Keeping it up, home slice. Get it. A deli bird parcel. Oh, what's in the parcel? It carries food all day long. There are tales about lost people who were saved by the food it had. Wow, what a hero. That's really fun. Good to know. Ice flying. Look at that little guy. Oh, we gotta go find a cub chew. We'll find one. We'll find one. Okay, so Bronzonga. Oh, there's Frostlass. I'm going for Frostlass first. Ooh. See, we don't have to worry about evolving one or anything like that. A good amount of these Pokemon are absolutely in the wild here. Yeah. 
So easy, man. 105. We are catching these, man. We are on our way. When it finds humans or Pokemon it likes, it freezes them and takes them to its chilly den, where they become decorations. What? When it finds humans? Wow, that's scary. Okay, okay. So if it likes you, it'll freeze you forever. And you will be a decoration inside of its den. No actual way. Could you imagine that? All right. Well, see, some of these Pokedex entries are actually, like, eye-opening. Kind of fun. Now, why couldn't they make up spooky things about the Paradox? Man. All right, tell me about Bronzong. It's like a bell. It's like a... Made after the Liberty Bell. Liberty Bell Pokemon. Bronze Bell Pokemon. In ages past, this Pokemon was revered as a bringer of rain. It was found buried in the ground. Oh, yeah, wasn't there like a famous gigantic metal bell? Buried in the ground in real life? Why do I have a vague memory of that? I don't know. Something from like an ancient civilization, they found this gigantic bell. I don't know. You're gonna have to tell me. All right, here we go, Cupchu. Let's do it. We are catching Pokemon, man. I can't wait till we're at a point where, like, we've caught all the wild Pokemon and we're just like, all right, now we got to look at the Pokedex and say, how do we get this Pokemon? How do we get that Pokemon? How do we get this, that, 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 that? And then we really just, like, fine-tune all the different species. Quick Ball on second turn. Ready. Okay, excellent job, 107, man. Look at this. Keep going. Many of this species can be found along the shorelines of cold regions. If a cub chew lacks dangling snot, there's a chance it's sick. Oh, man, that snot is dangling. Look at that. How does he keep it there without sniffing it up and or letting it drop? You guys ever do that when you're sick? Oh, no way. No, you didn't. No, you've never done that when you were sick. Hands down. Bergmai. I need Avalug. I got the Bird of the Deli variety. I've got the baby. Oh, I don't have... Um, Do I have Deerling? I have Deerling. I don't have Sal's book. <laughs> Sal's book. All right, so we can get the different uh, forms of Sawsbuck. I remember playing through Pokemon Snap, right? New Pokemon Snap, and we had to get all of the different varieties in one area, right? It was so weird. Espeon brought us over there in, like, the forest, and then, like, you had to do this, that, or the other in order to make all the different forms, like, show up. You guys remember that? Interesting. Is that ball floating? Oh, help me. Why was that Pokeball floating? Okay, here we go. Normal grass type. It said that Sawsbuck are calm and easy to tame during the season when they take on this form. So it's the perfect time to make one your partner. Uh huh. During this form. So you're saying that there's four different Pokedex entries for the different Sawsbuck? Dang. Huh. We'll see about that. I'm pressing X to doubt, so... I think that's just a generic thing. It's like, oh, in this form, haha. -ha. Nope. Okay, Obama Snow. We got a lot of these ice Pokemon. Oh, uh, we're kind of running low. Deli actual birds. Why is it called Deli Bird? Oh, because it delivers. Like, deli as in delivery. I see. Give me that bear. I was going to say, I'm thinking like deli meats over here. 
like deli, like go to the deli and get some fresh cold cuts. Are we at 108? Thanks. Yeah, yeah. Did you guys know that it's named after Delivery Bird? Deli Bird? No, you didn't know that. You did not know that. Bear Tick. It is a ferocious, carnivorous Pokemon. Once it captures its prey, it will breathe cold air onto the prey to freeze it and preserve it. Wow, that's cool. Ding! Huh, who are we missing over there? Alright, moving on. Awakening. Wow! Hello! Hi! Hello, lady! Cool! A guard of war. Catch it, catch it, catch it, catch it. Gimme 110. Gimme 110, gimme 110. Whoop. 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 Yeah. Oh, come on. Rude. You better calm on your way out of here. Oh, bye bye Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Give me that. Come back here. I like Satoddle. Satoddle's just so funny. He's like a baby. He's like a big baby. You guys ever see a big baby? <laughs> like a baby that's just bigger than the rest of the babies? That's what Satoddle is. Yeah, look, he's crying. Hey, hey, hey! I'm gonna give it one more quick ball and then I'm out. You've seen a long baby? <laughs> uh, you've seen a long baby before. What? I'm sorry, what is a long baby? Come on, Gardevoir, get in the ball. Join me. Before I call Iron Valiant on you. One, two, three, and check. Good job. 110, man. We're going. We're going. We're doing it. Satoddle. To protect its trainer, it will expend all its psychic power to create a small black hole. What? A small black hole? How is the world not sucked up into this black hole? How many black holes have we experienced on record in order to protect these trainers? What? That's... Scary. That's not real. Okay, we got Saw's Buck. Oh, it started snowing now. Guess what? Oh! Sneasel? We've... Ah, uh, I think I have Sneasel. Yeah, I got Sneasel. We got Sneasel a while ago. Here's another Gardevoir. I understand. Yeah, me too. I understand that I'm also looking for some rare Pokemon over here. Seems like we caught everyone. Any other Ice types? Whoa! Primate! Mankey! Mankey! Alright, Mankey, come here, man. Ooh-yah! Yo, we got a pro- Wait! Come on, man! Yo, get this- Big long baby out of here. I'm looking for Mankey. I'm looking for Primeape. Oh yeah, look at that. Right in the back. Okay, this is actually a really good candidate. There's a really good candidate right here. For the final secret evolution of Primeape. All right, so this is a Wild Terra Primate. Definitely the one that you want in this game. Uh, I am going to Earthquake him. Oh, he's a poison type. Yeah, that's rough. Minky. Here we go. Wow. Hey, Rage Fist, that's the move. So in order to evolve your Primeape into its next new form, you have to use Rage Fist 20 times. So it's kind of like, um, what? Like Wordier? 
Like, Stantler has to use X amount, like, Psy Shield Bash or whatever it was. Like, X amount of times in order for it to evolve. But we got a Mankey, man. Or, sorry, we got Primeape. And we got a lot of LP from doing that, too. Alright, here we go. It becomes wildly furious if it even senses someone looking at it. It chases anyone that meets its glare. What? Don't even look at Voltor buys? Oh, man. Yo, Pig Monkey? Oh, man, we're gonna cook him into some bacon. That's real good. All right, here we go. Thank you. That was really great. I like that. I was not expecting to see a minky or its evolution. You know, whenever you uh, whenever you refer to minky, you have to say it in the Pokemon Cry. Psychic Terra Shard. Oh, come on. It's one out of 50. We're good. All right, Bronzong. We are making our way up this mountain. I'm going to take that Bergmite. What is his name? Ag Avalug. 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 Yeah. Oh, she's big. Let me just Master Ball her right here. Here we go. You know, we're already at like 58 Quick Balls. I bought 100 of these. Catching Pokemon is is not for the poor people, right? Like, you gotta be rich in this game. <laughs> I'm noticing that. Alright, what do we got? We got 112? Minky. Alright, let's go Minky. Avalug. Alright, Avalug, here we go. Uh, as Avalug walks along with Bergmite on its back, it comes across pods of Satitan. It lets them pass to avoid conflict. Wow, okay. So Titan and Avalog have some history. Cool. I'm excited for that. What about you? Alright, I don't want the Titan's buddy little baby for him to come and get me. We're gonna keep on moving. Keep your eyes out for shiny Pokemon, guys. Remember, it doesn't make a sound when we see them. So I'm gonna need your good eyes to find them. Deli Bird. Little Dogs. Let me know if you see any other Pokemon. Bear tick? No, we're good. We're climbing to the very top over here. Look at this! Yahoo! Icy Rock. Cool. Deli Bird. Look at all these guys. They're just chilling. They're living their best life. Snover, and we made it to the town. Okay, so I don't really need to be in this town right over here. But it looks like in the vicinity of the town, there are going to be some Pokemon that we've never seen before, including a Frigibax, including a Crabrawla, including a Magna... Might? Magneton? Oh, Curlia! I need that! Run! Go get that. Go get that right now. Rawr. Where are you going? This is good. Here it is, here it is. This is a small child. Psychic Ballerina. Go. 113, we in? Hey, great. Bam ba da bow. Excellent. Ralts dust. Get that Ralts dust. Here we go, Kirlia. Uh, it has psychic. It has a psychic power that enables it to distort the space around it and see into the future. Whoa! If it can see into the future, why isn't it the best Pokemon? Couldn't it predict its opponents? Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Oh, bird. Okay. So I'm gonna move around this general area and hope to find. Like Magneton, I want to find Frigibax. I want to find some other Pokemon. Let's see, where am I? Oh, okay, okay. I'm on the side of a mountain. Will we be able to find these Pokemon? I don't know. Honestly, they're they're around here. Oh, we can find them. Maybe if we're by the water. Well, here's like a little water area. Let's kind of set that as our destination and we'll move, right? Some of the Pokemon... Oh, Cryogonal. Cool! Yeah, some of the ice Pokemon will spawn along the mountain, so we'll get it. 
Oh, we're at 113? Thank you. Good job. Way to pay attention. Burp, burp. Yay, uh... 114. Good job. Okay, we got it. 114, man. We are... Ooh, we are slowly chugging along. There's a lot of Pokemon to catch. Okay, Cryogonal appeared during cold season. It is said that people and Pokemon who die on snowy mountains are reborn into these Pokemon. What? So, Frostlass and Glalie freeze you, eat you, and then you become a Cryogonal. Weird. Uh, I don't know about that. Hey, Satatl, what do you think about that? Magneton. All right, we can go find some Magneton in a little bit. Ooh, here's some water. Yeah, this is where we were kind of looking for, right? Anyone in the water? I'm looking for Crab Brawla. Crab Brawla Valhalla. Where are you? Psyduck. Who's this? Oh, yo, Bulby? Yeah, I got Tad Bulb. Oh, yeah, that's great. I love that. I can just like, ha <laughs> look at that. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, it's cold on this thing. What's happening? Yo. Yeah, that's great, man. Yo, do you guys ever pretend you're like on a motorcycle? Mm. <laughs> I love this game. It's so good. The graphics are so great. Do I need Fizz Duck? Do I need Fizduck? Get me out of here. Jump! Fizduck's gonna get me. Oh, I got Psyduck. Okay, good. I got Golduck. Yay! Pretending to ride a motorcycle. Tell me you've never done that. Alright, we're gonna... Hi. Magikarp? Do I not have you? I, I got you at the beginning of the game. A level 35 Magikarp, nonetheless. That's actually really good. Just give him some candy and I'll turn to Gyarados in like two seconds. Who's in here? Buizel? Big Buizel? Uh, yeah, I guess we don't really need to mess around in the water. Who's this? Oh, it's a Den. I mean, I don't really want to do Den Pokemon. I really don't. Grieve? Whatever his name? Ground, Groundstone? Holy moly, a five-star electric? No way! That's the evolution of what's his name? Um, of the primate that we just saw. And it's a five-star. There's no way I could feasibly do that. Who's this? Is this Frigibax? My little boy, yes! And Magneton. Alright, I'm gonna get Magneton first. Yes! Whoa, cool. Alright, we're gonna go catch Frigibax. Hello, hello. Yo, Perry, what's up? What's up, everyone? Welcome. Thank you. Thanks for coming. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, man, I'm, I'm stuck on finding all these Pokemon. Three Magnemite are linked by strong magnetic force. Um, yeah... Earaches. That's a hard word. You don't read that word often. I'm like, what is that word? <laughs> Earaches will occur if you get too close. Uh, what's up, what's up? Let's do it. Boing. 115, we're gonna get a Bax. A little baby Bax. Hello. Hello. He's baby. This one's for you, Don. All right. Go, 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 go! It's time, little baby! This is going to be your best bet on catching a Frigibax because he's got the Dark Terra typing. Pretty fun. And he's cool. So there's your Dark type. So let's do this. Frigibax. Level 40. And he has a. He's got three perfect IVs on him, so. Alright, let's do this. We're gonna do one more false swipe. All right, let's do it. Icicle Spear, ouch, man. Yow. Ow. Here we go. That was really hurtful. My feelings, man. 
Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. 116. He is so cool. I love this little guy. You can find his evolution on the mountain too. Ice Fin Dragon Frigibax absorbs heat through its dorsal fin and converts it uh, converts the heat into ice energy. The higher the temperature, the more energy Frigibax stores. Ooh, he looks kind of... I don't know what he looks like. He looks kind of cute, but he's got like a smushed face. Kind of looks like... Who does he look like? Quasimodo? Maybe. Maybe that's the inspiration, dude. All right, 116. Our count is accurate. Thank you. Let's do it. We got maybe like one or two more Pokemon. Let's see if we can find... Oh, there's a baby Frigibax right here, man. All right, great. I'm looking for Magnemite. We found the wild Terra Frigibax and his baby brethren. But I really need... I need something good. Oh, sweet! That saves me a uh, Razor Claw. Yeah! I love how they all just yelled in tandem. That was awesome. We vile. It's okay if I get hit. That's fine. Here we go. As long as I don't. Whoa, we vials are going nuts. Yeah. Oh, come on. And I'm gonna eat an ice. Ooh, fling. What you flinging? Nothing. That's right. You don't have a hold item. They said, run! <laughs> and they all ran. That's funny. Alright, let's do another quick ball. Wow, nope. Ouch. Hey, easy. That hurts. I'm just giving out free hits over here, man. Yeah. Ah, oh, the babies. Whoa. Okay, okay, okay. I just want a free hit. No, yo, all of them, they don't scatter, man. They're attackers. These little Voltor buys over here, man. I gotta take their mom. Your mom's coming with me, kids. Yeah, dude, 117, beautiful. That's a lot of Pokemon, man, 117. Really good. All right. Meow. Weavile. Evolution made it even more devious. It communicates by clawing signs on boulders. I like it how it's got the like the little snaggle tooth. Love that. Alright, really awesome time. Okay, well I think that's, uh, that's a good pause point over here. Do we have any other... Oh, Revenge. You know how to tell apart a male and a female Sneasel? You can tell by their, like, their, their little ear. It's like a little bit longer if it's a male. Shorter if it's a female. Um, yeah, let, let's take a little pause here before these Weavile uh, destroy me, and let's let's keep on going. I mean, we've kind of really covered a lot. We've covered this entire area. We walked all the way down here. We did a little bit of over here. There's not too many Pokemon in the nearby. We can get a Glaceon if we're lucky enough. I don't really know where it is or in, the, in this area, but there is a Terra Glaceon over here, guaranteed. I made a video on the EV evolutions on there. So we can kind of look around over in this area over this way. And then we kind of make our way over here and see if there's any other ice Pokemon that we're kind of missing. But I want to say that we got a majority of them. Absolutely did. So anyway, let's let's continue searching, yeah? Whew. Oh, okay. Good to see you guys. Thanks so much for coming. How are you guys enjoying the content so far? Oh my gosh. Run! Dude, I put the camera out, man. The camera should save me.
The camera should save me. All right. Um, what do you guys want to do? Do you guys want to continue looking around the... Oh, gosh. You want to continue looking around these areas, or should we try to do something else? That's up to you guys. You guys pick and choose where this series goes, uh, because I am excited for it. If we can get, like... If we can get 100 Pokemon today, that'd be pretty bonkers. I mean, we've been streaming for about, like, an hour, an hour and 15, and we have, what... 37? 37 Pokemon? That's not bad. That's not bad at all. What'd you think, Jared? What do you think, Mel? What are we gonna do? Whimsy? Where do you guys want to go? Keep on going. Floptimus, Water Critters? We could. We could. <laughs> yeah, we can go mess around. I mean, we got some we got some pretty cool beaches over here, so like, I think since we're nearby this beach, let's kind of take this beach um, over, and we'll, uh, we'll start kind of looking over here. Yeah. I think I think we did a lot of the snow area. I'm kind of getting a little burnt out of the snow. Let's go do it. You ready? Let's do this. Okay, watch out, man. Watch out. These sneezles are vicious. They're full of vish. All right. <laughs> All right, I'm ready. Let's do this, everyone. Let's go find some more Pokemon. It's time. To catch some more Pokemon. Gotta catch them all. Alright, so here we go. We were exploring the entire ice area not too long ago. And we caught a bunch of ice Pokemon. Honestly, we were like going... We were retracing our steps and finding a lot of the ice Pokemon that we already have. So, I think we're going to take our search to this little beach area. And let's see what that brings. If we find ourselves a Halucha, I will gladly take that. Mmm, right in the back. And we got a Satitan over there. I already evolved Satitan from a Satoddle by using an Ice Stone. So we really don't have to worry about collecting one. But the fact that there's one out in the wild is pretty great. You don't have to waste your Ice Stone on, on a baby. You just catch one. Uh, I remember when we were like struggling through the main story mode without catching many things. Um, Satitan was actually pretty good. He did the work. Came in, did his ice moves, and boom. Here's Halucha. Its elegant finishing moves, performed by nimbly leaping around using its wings, are polished in the forest where it was born and raised. Cool. Definitely do not have him, but we have 118 Pokemon. And we're out here trying to get a lot more, so I'm very excited for it. Do it, do it, do it. Ding, 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 ding. We. All right, here we go. All right, who is that? Weavile. All right, little Pokeball. Revive. All right, what's that? Uh, Golduck. We have you. We have Glalie. We have Bear Tick. Okay, well, let's get take a look. Halucha, who's this? Sorry, who's that? Rufflet? Do I not have your Rufflet? I, I don't have. Ah! <laughs> hey, and then Espathra is over there too. All right, cool. Don't have Rufflet. I should heal up my Garchomp. One. Who's these? Oh, little Spoinks! Oh man, Spoinks! Like, hey, I know you guys like Lechonk and everything, but I'm the original Pig Pokemon. What about me? I just chop liver over here? Dang, man. Everyone abandoned their love for Spoink. Alright, they pick fights indiscriminately. They'll grow stronger and more powerful each time they faint or are injured. Wow. Yeah, this little eagle is all about that, huh? Boom. Look at this. Look at this entire uh, area. It looks great. Our Pokedex is looking fine. Palmy, Palmo. I'm getting big boy. Big pig. Yeah, get that bacon. Okay, you guys ready for some bacon? Let's go. Grum pig. It's like a grumpy pig. Wow. Okay, grumpy pig. He's snoring. Wow. Oh, little baby pig just coming out here. Okay. All right, there's a gold dock. I need to get grum pig. I love how you can just see the Pokemon swimming. Cer certain Pokemon have swimming animations, which is real fun. And I'm glad that they actually programmed that, right? Really?
Okay, wow, and that is the end of that chapter. Okay, great. I'm just gonna run. This guy's not a joke. He is, this is a mad bacon over here. He's so upset. He's so grumpy that everyone, he's the, he's the overshadowed pig in the game. People like LeChonk. They like Oink alone. But this, I tell you. This Pokemon, that's the OG right here. Grumpig. Did any of you guys ever use a Grumpig in any generation? Because I sure didn't. Like, ever. It's so interesting to think about, right? Like, so in your history of playing Pokemon games... Like, you know which Pokemon you use throughout the games, right? You never used every single one of them. Grumpig was one of those weird ones where you're just like, uh, uh, you're just Dex Filler. I don't think anyone has this as their favorite Pokemon. But he's being really, really hard to catch right now, and I think I'm gonna lose all the other Pokemon nearby, so I better... I better get this guy. Great. Thank you. Grumpig, 120. Okay, nice even number. We're doing great. Alright, speaking of doing great, we got a uh, Spoink over here. It can perform odd dance steps to influence foes. Its style of dancing became hugely popular overseas. What? A manipulate Pokemon? I'm sorry. I don't know anything about this Pokemon, apparently. I thought it was just a psychic Pokemon. So I know about Spoink, right? Like, if it ever stops bouncing, it will pass away. So I think that that's what happens with this thing. Alright, way to go, Spoink. Add it to the decks. 121. Keep going. Spoink Pearls. Pearls. Spoink. Spoink will die if it stops bouncing. The pearl on its head amplifies its psychic powers. Yeah, don't stop bouncing, man. Just keep bouncing. Just keep bouncing. Boing, boing, boing. Alright, you love that bacon. Okay, so we got the piggies. A Spothra came out. I do have a Lycanroc. Oh, I don't have Indeedee. Don't mind if I do. So this, I thought this was going to be like an Audino kind of like evolution when it was first revealed. You remember that? Everyone's like, oh man, this thing's going to evolve into Audino. Or maybe that was just me. Kind of has the same body shape, right? Tell me about this Pokemon. Oh gosh, you hear some cries. I gotta go get that Psychic Ostrich. Oh, and I and you guys see who else is over there? Scovillain's over there, too. There's a lot of good Pokemon in this area. Hurry up. Thank you. Great. 122. All right, here we go. Dragonite's doing the work. Indeedy Fur. There's a lot of Pokemon in the nearby vicinity that I need. Indeedy, this Pokemon picks up on the positive emotions of other creatures via its horns and uses those emotions to fuel itself. Okay, so there's a Pokemon literally right on top of me right now. And he's waiting for a fight. I'm gonna press the Y button. Ah, oh, come on, I knew it. <laughs> Alright, I need a Spatra. Tell me about this name. Tell me the origin of Espathra. Espathra. What is that? It's a psychic Pokemon, so I get the ESP part, right? It's got hair, like the Cleopatra cut, right? Like the bangs and then the, the shorts on the side. So, is that like ESP because it's psychic? And then, like, a Cleopatra, but with a TH instead? I'm 
Yeah, tell me about the name. Egyptian Turkey Cleopatra. It's an ostrich, but sure. Or is it a turkey? Oh, gosh. It's an ostrich, thank you. All right, good, good, good. Uh, it immobilizes opponents by bathing them in psychic power from its large eyes. Despite its appearance, it has a vicious temperament. Ooh. Clearly a peacock right there. <laughs> Way to be. Oh, yeah, Tinkaton. What is the name? Tink Tinkatink? Tink? You're Tinka Tink. Tinka Tough. Tinka Tough. All right. So this is like the new generation Mawile, right? Like a steel fairy type. Really cool looking le design. It's like a little elf. I actually don't know what it... I think I've seen it only a couple times throughout my playthroughs. Just to catch it, get the decks, and then move on. Never used it. But I would totally use this, right? Weak against ground, though. Yikes. Okay, it's a hammer Pokemon. This Pokemon will attack groups of Ponyard and Bisharp. Uh, gathering metal from them in order to create a large and sturdy hammer. Oh, man. That's pretty tough. Tink a tough. Pink a tough. All right, man. 124. We are doing the work already. Okay, okay. Who else is in this area that I was chasing after? Oh, I saw the Scoville'n. Didn't I see a Scoville'n walk away? Dude literally was on screen and then he faded out. So I think I lost Scoville'n. It's okay. Not a big deal. We'll find another one. Who's that? Oh, Indeedee? Okay. Uh, Lycan Rock. Who's that? What is that? Oh, it's Lokix? Man, Lokix is everywhere. I don't like him. Yo, Goats and who? Goats and Indeedee. Alright, great. Anyone else? It's kind of serene over here. There's another Lokix. You got Deerling. You got these boys. There's a pillar. Ooh, wow. There's a stake right there. You guys remember those stakes? How many of you guys use a steak guide? How to cook a steak. All right, beach Pokemon. Oh, yeah. Holy. What is it? Quattrill? Quattrill? Kilowatt? Kilowattrill. Okay, Kilowattrill. What is a Wattrel? Is that a type of bird? Like, I know what a Kilowatt is. So I'm just trying to understand the localization of this name. Kilowattrel. I don't know too much about birds, so I need a bird expert to explain this to me. Okay, here we go. Kilowattrel inflates its throat sac to amplify its electricity by riding the wind. This Pokemon can fly over 430 miles in a day. Good job. 125, we're filling it up. Ding. Yeah, so Watrol is the evolution or the preform. Kilowattrol is the is the evolution. It's pretty good. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy, easy. Who's this? Golduck? We're out here just catching. Ooh, Swablu and Altaria, please. Oh, I love Altaria, man. I loved Mega Altaria so much. No one used Mega Altaria, but I did. It was so fun. Back in X and Y, man. Not the jam. I'm gonna get this Altaria right now. 126, friends. Okay, it constantly grooms its cotton-like wings. It takes a shower to clean itself if it becomes dirty. Well, I, I would hope so. What a clean little baby bird. Ready. Alright, here we go, Altaria. Love this Pokemon. It's not the strongest dragon type, right? Like, it's just, it's kind of like a weaker dragon type, but still really cool. It learns False Swipe, doesn't it? And, and like, T-Wave? 
I don't remember. I remember there was a time where I used a an Altaria in a walkthrough or something like that. Anyway, here we go. It's a humming Pokemon. If it bonds with the person, it will gently envelop the friend with its soft wings, then hum. Oh, I want a hug. Give me a hug with your soft wings. I need the baby goat still. Huh. Oh, yo, who's that? Huh? <laughs> Get over here. Who's that? I remember when I evolved Wiglet for the first time. And I completely facepalmed at the name. Wug Trio. What are you doing? Stop. That's three animations, man. I don't have time for that. You gonna turn around? I'm gonna hit you from behind, dude. What? Excuse me? Come on out, dude. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. Wow. Interesting. Yeah, so like he'll hide in the rock and you can't initiate the battle with him. Very cool. Wug Trio. Tell me about that. Tell me about 127 right now. Wug Actual Trio. Sunburn Trio. Yeah, for sure. Uh, but they got some nice white mouths. Their mouths are open up. They're yelling right now. Uh, it has a vicious temperament. Contrary to what its appearance may suggest, it wraps its long bodies around prey and drags the prey into the den. Why are they yelling, though? Ah! <laughs> Wug Trio. It comes with a rock, too. Like, you get a free rock. Wug Trio. Look at these rocks. That's so fun. Ooh, large candy. Love that. Okay, Wug Trio. Who's that? Altaria. We got Kilowattrol. We got all these Pokemon. This is wonderful. Here's a Spathra. We got Ndidi. Ooh, who is this? We got Knackle Stack. And we got little baby Knacklies. I don't have Pinkerchin. Yo, we got yellow buns over here? Or is it orange buns? What is it? <laughs> Yo, eyes up here. Oh, Pinkerton's fun. Yeah, yeah. Bam, bam, bam. Good work. Yellow buns over here. Okay, do it. What do we got? Pinkerton, electric type. This Pokemon generates electricity when it digests foods. It uses its five hard teeth to scrape seaweed off surfaces and eat it. Five hard teeth. Excuse me. You have only five teeth? Okay. Good to know. We have 29. Did I forget one? I always do. That's fine. Here we go. We... Yep, yep, yep. Good. See, that means someone's paying attention at home. Good work. You know I do that on purpose, right? There's a Wiglet! Alright, get that big Wiglet. What is this? Yo, Wiglet's chilling on this beach over here. We got Wiglet and we got Wug Trio. Who's that over there, though? Who's this wild... T oh, it's a Terra Wiglet? Wug Trio? Aw, oh, man. I caught a lame one when I could have gotten a cool one. Dang. Alright. We got these Knackles. Knacklies. We're good. These little guys are done. Alright, I'm not gonna do any kind of exploring on the water fronts at all. So let's just uh let's just keep going. Let's see where we can find. Bow, 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 bow. We're gonna fly once we get to the very top of this, and we're gonna continue moving, I would say a little south. Southeast? We'll go southeast for a little bit. Unless we see some new Pokemon we haven't seen over here. Just when I thought we were done with the cold. Oof. Here we go. Ultra Ball. I'll take it. I might need it. 
Psychic Fangs. Okay, indeedy, indeedy. And there he is. There he goes, Scovillain. Ooh, this is quite the interesting Pokemon. I think the two-headed pepper design is so cool, right? Like, really, really fun design. But I think, like, the body is just weird. Because it looks like, I don't know, like a human in, like... It looks like a human in baggy pants. So, this Pokemon is a really, really fun idea. Like, I love the idea. I think the execution is, like, a 50%. What would I have liked? I don't know. Was maybe like a plant. Like a plant body. Kind of like a piranha plant, right? I don't know. Maybe if it was in. Maybe if it had like a. Um, a pot, right? A pot and then it was growing a plant out of it. Kind of like piranha plant in Smash Bros. Uh, the redhead converts spicy chemicals into fire energy and blasts the surrounding area with a super spicy stream of flame. That's so fun. That's the Hot Ones challenge right over here. I love these guys. Skullvillain's so cool. If I start off with Quaxley, man, Skullvillain would be on my team until the very end of the game. I guarantee it. Wow. Alright, here we go. Good job, good job. We're at 130. I want to go get that item, but, like, dude's guarding it. Who's this? Oh, Halucha was taking a nap. What's this? Oh, cool! I did not even... Wow! Hydro Cannon? Oh, Blast Burn? And Frenzy Plant. Oh, wow, that's a good spot for all three of those. Yeah. Wow, that's actually really fun. Those are the 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 starter exclusive end game moves that you can get. And I want to say that only the starters final evolutions can learn those. They're not all the best, but they're okay. Okay, let's see who we can find. We are moving our Whoa! Yeah, we don't have them. That's a big deer. And who's this? Who's this? Oh, whoa, Fracture? I did not even expect a Fracture right there. I was aiming for the Mudbray. I'll take Fracture for sure. Oh, that's so fun. Wow, man. All right, all right. Outrage, look at you! You gotta go. I see the Axie over here, too. Okay, if this guy continues to outrage me, I'm gonna be done. But there are four new Pokemon in this little area here, and I'm very excited for it. Fracture. Come on, man. One, two, three, and... Yes. 131. Beautiful. Go, 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 go! It's time, Fracture, Fracture! I want to catch an axe you so bad. All right, because of its tusks, because its tusks don't grow back once they break, this Pokemon apparently won't use them unless truly necessary. Ooh, that's right. They will not grow back. All right, really fun. Really fun. Give me this baby. Yeah, stepped on a baby. Oh, I wish it was shiny. Oh my gosh, who's going to be my first shiny Pokemon? I don't know, man. Who's going to be our first shiny Pokemon in Pokemon Scarlet? I don't think we're going to find any full odds. I mean, I'm not really looking for them. But we're good. 132? Who's your favorite baby dragon Pokemon? Dratini, of course. There's only one answer. This Pokemon lives in nests that are made in the ground. People in ancient times use its tusks as cooking knives. Wow, good to know. Ta-da! I don't have Axorus. We might have to do like a whole evolution video. But I'm gonna take I'm gonna take this thing right here. This thing is gigantic. Remember when we what was that? Sun and Moon? We used the Mudbray? What's his name? Clydesdale? Mudsdale. We used a Mudsdale as a ride Pokemon? 
Oh, that was so good. Yeah, critical hit. Bum ba da ba. 133. Do it, do it, do it. Mudsdale. We need the Mudbray too. Minus eyeballs over here. Okay, Draft Horse Pokemon. This Pokemon has been treasured not for its physical labor, but also because it produces high quality mud used for making pottery. Cool. I don't know what a Draft Horse is, though, so you're gonna have to teach me about that. But I'm gonna go catch this little guy. Ring, ring, little guy. Hello, it's me. What? You! Little donkey. Little donkey. I'm only at 27 uh, quick balls, man. We are breezing through these. Do it. Cool. Mudbray. This Pokemon covers itself in mud that it has regurgitated. The mud won't dry out even if it's exposed to the sun for a long time. Oh. That's nasty. So it like spits up mud out of its mouth and like somehow puts it all over its body. Yeah, I don't know about that one. Hello. Don't come near me. I already have you. Okay, getting some berries over. Ah! Whoa, okay. Easy, easy, easy. Who's this? Yo, I got Tinka something or rather. Yeah, I got Tinka tough. We're good. But this was a cool little mountainside. I like this a lot. Where am I exactly? Oh, I'm making my way down here. Cool. Wigglytuff's over here. Copperaja, Flareon. Wow. There's a lot of Pokemon in these mountains over here. We might find some really cool ones if we're lucky. Look at this little hidden alcove. What is this? For a revive? Whoa! Let's fly! Remember Breath of the Wild? You could barely climb up if it was raining. Wow, what is this? A little stairway of items. Here we go, here we go. Climbing, climbing. Ooh, a Spothra over there. I see one. Look at these mountains. Oh, hi. Oh, yeah. We found a little bat cave. We found the bat cave. All right, we're getting some noibs. Noibats are cute. These guys are real cute. Why are they cute? Because they have like a little heart on their nose. It's like a little heart. Nice. Right in the back cave, Noibat. 134. Got it. Pokedex updated for Noibat fur. Okay, Soundwave Pokemon. This Pokemon emits ultrasonic waves from its large ears to search for fruit to eat. It mistakes Applin for its food. Huh. Oh, 135 now? Oh, man. You're probably right. Alright, let's do it. Let's do it. Noibat. Think 135. Deal. Go, 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 go. Next. Uh, I don't need Halucha. Luchador. I'm good. Don't need in Didi. Didi. Dragon Dance in Didi. Uh, Rufflet. Don't need. I need Skidoo. You got the baby goats? No. Ghastly, though. I'll take him. Ghastly. Ghastly. <laughs> Ghastly. Yo, that's a that's a cloister. Dum -ba -bum. Got it. Way to go, ghastly gas. All right, it wraps its opponent in. It's gas-like body slowly weakening its prey by poisoning it through the skin. Whoa, scary. Ghastly Haunter Gengar. We can find all of them in this game. Look at that guy on the rock. Oh my gosh, he was, he was waiting to go. Indeedy. 
Espathra. I'm gonna get paid just by peeking in here. We're not gonna do any terror raid battles. I'm okay without that. We'll do some five-star ones, though, once we need to. But finding Pokemon in a Terror Raid battle outside, you can. You can find some pretty rare species, but I don't know. I'm okay without it. We'll find who we need to find. Okay, Tinka Tough. Dude, Halucha. Who's in the nearby? Wigglytuff, Bramblin, Ampharos? <laughs> Excuse me? Where? Yeah, right. Iron, okay. Where are we seeing an actual Ampharos in the wild? Like, if you really do look, it's not a lie. It's, it's legit. They're here. It's just in the nearby, so you have to find out exactly where nearby it is. Okay, so there's nothing... There's no point in being there. Don't go too far from nearby, or else you'll lose them. Oh, sweet! Ah, uh, Flareon or Haunter. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, who do I want? Uh, I guess I'll take Flareon. Cool. Hey, save me a Firestone, man. Let's go, Flareon. I want that Haunter, too. Like, I got my eyes on both these guys. This is really good. This isn't the Terra Flara. Uh, it's just a regular old stray Flareon, which is fine. Like, I just need it for Pokedex completion. If I wanted a really good Flareon, I would go get the Terra... the Wild Terra Evolution. Alright, here we go. Come on, Flareon. We're gonna get Flareon, then we're gonna get Haunter. Come on, we need these two. Thank you. Good job, Flareon. Way to go. One of my favorites, 137. Get some Eevee fur. Okay, inhaled air is carried to its flame sack, heated and exhaled as fire that reaches over 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Whoa, 3,000, dude? No way, you'd melt everything. It's very scary. All right, speaking of very scary, Haunter? Haunt, 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 haunt. Come here. Oh, yeah! Voltorb eyes over here. Haunter. Man! Remember playing through Generation 1 Pokemon? And you didn't have a buddy to link cable with to get a Gengar? And you just had Haunter the entire time? Yeah, I remember that. You brought your link cable to school in hopes that someone also brought their Game Boy so you can trade the Haunter and trade it back? It likes to lurk in the dark and tap shoulders with a gaseous hand. Uh, its touch causes endless shuddering. Whoa. Endless. All right, 138, man. That's really good. We are doing some work. We're going through the area. And we are... Oh, come on, a spot there. I don't need you. I don't need you at all. My Dragonite's ready to go, though. 138 is good. That is a great amount. Okay, anyway, we're going to take a look at our map. We are... Yeah, we're going to be exploring this little area here. Because this is where we came from, right? Remember, we started over here with the, uh, the water all the way down. We did all of the uh, ice Pokemon along here. We got the beach with the Wiglets, the Wug Trios. We walked our way over here, and now we're kind of in this area. So I want to check out the swamp. I want to check out this desert. Oh, there's so many Pokemon to explore now. Yes, this is getting good. I'm so excited for it. Anyway, let's continue exploring, shall we? Let's do it. I'm so pumped. Let's continue doing I am, like, so in the catching Pokemon mood. We got to go fill up on uh, Quick Balls. Dude, I gotta make some more money. I gotta go sell some of the junk that I have in my pocket. Man. Mmm. I get to hang out with you guys tonight. Super fun. Mmm. Mmm, yummy. Yes, Bex, the straw is still here. <laughs> it was pretty genius. 
I don't know how I didn't think about it. I'm like, I have a straw, and this thing is super awkward to drink out of. Hmm. I'll have to thank Bex for that one. <laughs> hey, guy, how about you use a straw? Oh, man, you're right. Dang it. All right, I guess. All right, you guys ready? Let's continue on. Um, before we do so, I wanted to say thanks to all of you guys watching at home. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for hitting that subscribe button uh, in case you guys didn't already see on the main channel page we're trying to do something a little bit different with this latest tutorial video um, I talk about King Gambit I run some competitive analysis with him show you exactly how to evolve your Bisharp and showcase all the moves available for it too so if you like that kind of video please let me know by clicking on that video right over here and saying you came from episode 6 that would be awesome I could use the help with that um, I could do some more competitive like build videos in the future if you like that content if not we'll focus on the main stuff like uh like early and guaranteed shiny pokemon or all the eevee evolutions and where to find them right anyway let's move on shall we all right yo what's up the t man with two e's what's up 30 month member versary hey everyone good to see y'all thanks for the pokemon guides recently took down titan mr krabs good job cool oh yeah mario kart wave 3 dlc uh yeah any thoughts on it I don't know. Who's playing Mario Kart when we gotta play Pokemon? You tell me when it releases and we'll do a live stream to play it, but I'm kind of like narrow visioned in this. I hope you're enjoying it though. All right, uh, other than that, I want to say thanks again to Dawn for the super chat. Appreciate you. I'm glad you're loving Violet so far. I saw that you got a, a shiny Pokemon too. Congratulations on that. All right, you ready? Let's do this. Let's do this. I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's do this. Let's continue on. We got to go catch some more Pokemon, man. This is the real fun part of the game. Where uh, right now, I really want to maybe mess around with this area. As much as I want to go towards the Pokemon Center, I think that if we just kind of move over here through the grass, uh, we should be able to find some newer Pokemon that we have not explored yet. And plus, it's like, it's a lot more exciting because we then get to come over here and explore some new spots, right? Okay, so we came from this area here, right? There's an Ursa Ring, Noiverns floating around in the area. Yeah, Bramblins here too. We might find some really fun guys. All right, so here we go. Oh, I kind of uh, emptied that out, didn't I? Yeah, did I go down here? I could have sworn I did, but I might have missed it. Holy teddy bears, Batman. Whoa, hi. Yo, Mama Bear. Oh, Mama Bear is ready. Gonna aim right for that big circle target there, Mama Bear. It is actually Mama Bear. Okay. Excellent. <laughs> Mama Bear gets owned. All right, now we have little baby bears that we have to get. Okay, it usually wears a hardened expression, but when it's licking up honey, which it loves, uh, the joy it feels will cause it to break into a wide grin. Mmm, I've never seen a smile on one of these things before. Maybe in po new Pokemon Snap, but I want to see it. Yeah, I'd love to see that. All right, let's get this teddy. Ooh! Oh, okay, I guess you can come with me and your mom. All right, Teddy. One, two, three, ding. Oh, you baby. All right. He's snoring without being asleep. Get over here. Do we want to catch this one or should we catch his brother? <laughs> this one came right up to us, so we might as well give him a little bit of love. Winnie. Get over here, you little child. Who put that tattoo on your head? Yay. Yay. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yahoo! Alright, this Pokemon discreetly follows Combi to find their hive. It scoops up big dollops of honey and its palms to eat. <laughs> That's cute. That's actually really cute, right? It's like a little honey bear. And he follows the, the little bees to their nest. That's so cute. That's like 100 cute right now. I did not know that about that Pokemon. 
Yo, those are ghastly and haunter in the daytime. You believe that? Oh, there's a lake over here too. Wigglytuff Gallade? No way. If I can catch a Gallade... Oh, I'd be so happy I don't need a Dawnstone. Alright, keep your eyes out for a Gallade. I have you, don't I? You're Tinkaton? You're Tinkatuff, sorry. Where is Gallade? Who's that? Oh, cool! <laughs> oh, shing! Oh, dude, wow, man. Save yourself a Dawn Stone. I saw another Pokemon I needed in the area. Dude, Gallade, what number are we at? Are we at 140? I forgot that I gotta press this button every time. Dude, Gallade is great. Psychic fighting. When trying to protect someone, it extends its elbows as if they were swords and fights savagely. Alright, here we go. We got some uh, some updating to do. Let's take a look at our number. 141? Sounds about right. Oop! Who's here? Yo, leave me alone! Leave that hammer! No! Bye. Juan, 40, Juan, bing, oh, that was not the number, one, two, three, there we go, perfect, 141, we're all caught up, don't worry about it, uh, Lycanroc, I kind of did want to catch one just for that other form, yeah, let's, let's do it, uh, you know, I think I have lofty goals of getting a living dex, and if I'm going to get a living dex, I'm going to have to get all the forms of Pokemon too, so, ooh, and it's a crit, I'm going to take it, wow, Take a peek underneath the grass over there. What is this lake? Oh, I think I've been to this lake before. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, great. Yep, I'll take it. Mm-hmm. Lycanroc attacks its prey with sharp claws and fangs. It loyally obeys the instructions of a trainer it trusts. That's the midday form. Oh, how are you going to get the other form? Isn't there a third form as well? There's midnight form, dusk form... Midday form, huh? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know too much about Lycanroc. I would have to do some research. Maybe something about evolving it during a time of day or holding an equip item? No idea. I'm looking for this Bramblin, though. I'm rambling for a Bramblin. Indeedy, I got some goats. I don't need Indeedy. I don't need goats. I don't need this. I don't need that rock. I don't need this sandwiches. Yeah, sandwiches. Yes. Okay, well, here's a little river. Ooh, Swablu. Altaria just flying away. Look at that. We're getting all sorts of rare Pokemon sightings over here. Uh, I'm going to climb this. I am the dragon's wings. Vaporeon! Oh, wait, I have one. Yoof! Leave, dude. Thank you. Leave. Come on, man. All right, goodbye. Here we go. Here we go. I'm going to climb to the top. <laughs> Dragon's wings. I think if I climb to the top of this watchtower, I can get the warp point. Climbing fast. And a treasure chest! Alright, we're not going to get the treasure chest yet. I'm going to save that for the end. Okay, so I see Dratini over there. I don't have Dratini, so I will absolutely catch that. I hear Gimme Ghoul. Hello, little guy. Give me one coin, thanks. Alright, and then there's this one right over here. Oh, can I not go in there? Is there not a... Uh, yeah, there is a ladder. Okay. We'll do Gimme Ghoul later. I'll save that for the end. He's kind of like the trophy of the game. Um, but I do want to come over here. Dragon Pulse. Alright, here we go. I'm going to go get that Dratini right now. That pink Dratini. 
<laughs> oh, what if? Oh, no, you don't. No, you don't! Okay, I was gonna say, no, you do not. Do I not have a Dratini? Uh, apparently not. Cool, let's do it. Get it. Beautiful. Golduck, please leave. 142? Dratini, I do not have a Dragonair. It sheds many layers of skin as it grows larger. During this process, it is protected by a rapid waterfall. I don't know what that means. Okay, cool. We need Dragonair. We'll find one. Okay, so Vaporeon's coming out over here. Golduck's coming out over here. Dratini doesn't appear to be going on land. It seems like it's water exclusive. Very fascinating. A Max Revive. I have Deerling. I have the Flamingo. I have Indeedy. This is a cool little area. What was this, Pommel? Yeah, I'm good with Pommel. I don't really have those. This is the DLC area. Um, I still haven't seen Bramblin. I haven't seen Wigglytuff. Uh, I won't go in the water just yet. We can. Oh, Mudbray and Altaria. Okay. Yeah, I haven't seen Wigglytuff or Ampharos. What about you guys? See him anywhere? Am I missing anything? Is that a shiny before? No, dang it. <laughs> Don't. Don't. A purple shiny Vaporeon? Don't even get my hopes up, man. That'd be so cool. Whoa! Claude Sire! Cool! Alright, so this is the evolution of Paldean Wooper. He is a, he's a big boy. He's like a little whale. He's a whale of a time. Get it. Claude Sire! Excellent. Okay, great. Didn't have to level anyone up. Claude Sire, Poison Ground. When attacked, this Pokemon will retaliate by sticking thick spines out from its body. It's a risky move that puts everything on the line. Thick spines? It doesn't look like it's capable of doing anything like that. Oh well, moving on. Yahoo! Oh dang, you got a shiny Mareep? No way. Pixar, it didn't happen, man. Just kidding. Congrats, that's great. I wish I got one. Yeah, no, I'm not really... I'm not really out here trying to find any shinies. I'm just out here... I gotta fill out my Pokedex, and then, trust me, I'll catch up. We'll get some shinies. We got... Hey, Chansey! I think I need that. Ugh! <laughs> uh, Chansey? Yep. I'll take one. Thank you. Level 49. This is gonna be a lot of experience whenever you catch a Chansey, so always catch them. Wow, good job. A light screen. What's that flying behind Chansey? Man, could you imagine if you're in the middle of a battle and then there's a shiny Pokemon that just like walks right past you? And you're like, ah, oh, I gotta go, I gotta go. And then it despawns? No way. Dude, Chansey, why are you being an eggshell? That's right, Chansey is, is being mean. Does not want to join me. Chansey and those ditto eyes, I see you. I see those Kirby eyeballs right now. Kirby in the Forgotten Land. Hey, the shiny bowl. Tell me, r remind me what the shiny bowl is. Instead of watching the Super Bowl, we played Animal Crossing? I don't know. You're going to have to tell me about that. But the answer is yes. Here we go. Come on. Let's go, Chansey. Dude, duh. 
Okay, okay, okay. Oh, yeah, 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 the shiny bowl. Okay, okay, I'm remembering, I'm remembering. Yeah, I remember the things I do. Yeah, absolutely. So we'll be we'll be shiny hunting. Trust me. I see that zero in the top corner. The top corner, that overlay right there, that's zero shiny Pokemon. It's okay, because I haven't been trying. But... We're gonna do it, we're gonna find some shiny Pokemon, we're gonna name them after some of you guys. It's gonna be so good. Alright, is this 143? Am I off? 144? Egg Pokemon. This kindly Pokemon lays highly nutritious eggs and shares them with injured Pokemon or people. Yeah, I, I think I'm at 44. Sounds about right. Uh, not so much. Ouch. What does it feel like to be wrong? <laughs> and then it's like, yo, you just copy the answers. Mm, okay, okay, I see what it is. I see how it is. I see how it goes. Just copy the answers of the person above you. Got it. Is that shiny? Nope. Just kidding. Alright, moving on. I need more Pokemon. How does it feel like? Just kidding. I'm just so silly. Oh, what is this? Low kicks, Halucha. Let's do it. I need other Pokemon that are new. Oh, here's some ruins. Cool. Bronze or Bronzong at the ruins. There's going to be some Gimme Ghoul at the ruins, too. We'll mess around with that later. All right, let's take a look. So we went all the way all throughout here. We're now inside this little area. I mean, we can go on top of the mountain. Yeah, the mountain is right over here. Yeah, Shiny Bowl is going to be great. That's February, though. We're, we're, we're recording this now in, uh, in November. <laughs> Will we still be playing Scarlet and Violet until February of next year? I mean, why not? Right? Why not? Let's do it. Get owned. All right, let's go. What is that gigantic rock? Okay, so a couple things that are over here. Deerling, don't need. Scovillain, don't need. Where are we? Okay, so we are we are in this one spot where we can actually go over here. Fly Oh! Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Yo, this thing's about to bite me! Ow! Get it, get it, get it. Dude, at, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Dude, three of them? Come on, this is unreal. If this was Legends Arceus, my main character would be running the other way. I'd be running and booking it. Please leave. Goodbye. I'll see you never. I got you guys. They just want to come home to a good home over here, right? All right, here we go. We found some little areas. I'm looking for some new pole. Come on. Oh, cool. Yes, please. And I see Reverum. I'm taking Lucario's buddy with me. This is Riolu. I do have Lucario, so I don't have to worry about evolving this thing. But those of you guys that want to evolve a Riolu into a Lucario, you can absolutely give him the Soothe Bell and keep him on your team for a little bit. Wash him up at the picnics, give him some vitamins, level him up, don't let him faint in battle, you know the drill. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, come on. I'm running out of Pokeballs. I love this little guy. Remember we found a gold one? I remember, I still remember the day. In Pokemon Legends Arceus, we were walking. We were walking, we went down the mountain, and then around the corner to the left, right? That's exactly where Riolu and Lucario spawn. And then he was right there, outside of the mouth of the cave. Do you remember that? I still remember that. Come on. Go. 
Good. That was fun. It was a good time. All right, what number? 44? Do it. Uh, they communicate with one another using their auras. They are able to run all through the night. All right, here we go. <laughs> 145 sounds about right. Or is it? Nice try. How's that feel? 144. Get owned. Oh, I got room. <laughs> yeah, what did we name that uh, that Riolu? Who did we name that after? Where's that big engine? Come here. Yo, this thing is the thing made out of like Team Star's vehicle. Remember that? The big engine Pokemon. Max Snacks. <laughs> Alright, here we go. 145. I need some more quick balls, man. This dog is coming right at me. Rev Rev Vroom. It creates a gas out of poison and minerals from rocks. Then it detonates the gas in its cylinders. Now numbering eight to generate energy. Yeah, just like a, an actual engine does. That's really great. Bring. Who's this? Flittle? Floet? Oof. Dang. Okay, I'll mess around with the Floet colors later. I don't care about them too much. Floet. Floet. Alright, here we go. Hurrah. So, a couple Pokemon nearby. It's still an Ampharos. It's still a Bramble. I do need that. We will find those Pokemon eventually. But I'm not going to spend too much time looking for them. If they show up, they show up. If they don't, we will hunt them later. Alright, I'm ready to drop down. Could have sworn there was like a flying Dragonite over here. I don't know. I remember seeing one a long time ago. Okay, great. Yep. Okay. All right. All right. You guys ready to do this? North Province Area 2. So many new Pokemon. Phalanx? All right. You little helmets. All right, you set of six helmets. I only have five of these left. We got to go spend another 100,000 on Quick Balls, man. If we're at 145. There is 146. Pokedex. Here we go. Formation Pokemon. The Brass, which is the one that stands at the front and issues orders, is the strongest and the smartest of six. I thought these were helmets. Are they not helmets and Goombas? I don't know what this is. I guess I never really looked at a phalanx. A phalanx. Alright, so since I'm over here, in this little area, I know that there's a Pokemon Center right here. So let's just go to the Pokemon Center. We're going to spend all of our monies for Quick Balls. And then we're going to try to get to like 150 at least. Alright, I got to sell some stuff, man. I got some treasures to sell. I got two pretty feathers that'll buy me one Quick Ball. And I got uh, two rare bones to sell, which will buy me five quick balls. Man, I'm broke. What else? Uh, yeah, I need some quick balls, friend. Thanks. Where's my discount on the champion? Where's my champion discount? Oh, 98? Uh, I'm just gonna do 90. 90. Yo, guy. I'm gonna buy 90 of them. Yep. I'll pay with LP. Dude, I'm broke. Ugh. Okay, good. Nine Premier Balls in the house. That's that's a lot of... That's a lot of stuff. Let's, let's just say that's a lot of them, but... Here we go! Let's do some work! Yahoo! Slow, oof! Slow motion. I landed on a low kicks. 
All right, speaking of landing on a low kick, let's do this, dude. Yo, this guy's just sleeping. Slacking. Yo, you get hit by a Giga Impact off of slacking, you're owned, man. I didn't heal my Pokemon. So that's annoying. Alright, he's a ghost type. Wow, okay, okay. So if someone comes at him with a fighting type move, he can just terastalize, dodge it, and proceed to uh, attack, which is really strong. Here's an earthquake, speaking of really strong. Wow, that was not really strong. It was relatively weak. That's right. Get caught off guard. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, excellent. Now this is normally where I would bring in my Garchomp. Wow, look at this Golduck swimming under underground. Alright, so I'm gonna just toss one Ultra Ball. I'm broke, so I can't be messing around with these Ultra Balls unless I really mean it, so... That's rude. Wow, that's gonna hurt so much. Boom! In slow motion. Let's do a T-Wave and then do it again. Try it again. Slacking. That guy's too good. Wow, that is like literally 20 frames a second. That is rough. Alright, give me the slacking. You know, I don't remember finding a slack off anywhere in this game. Hmm, weird. We'll find it. I see a Scyther over there that we got our eyes on. It's the world's most slothful Pokemon. However, it can exert horrifying power by releasing pent-up energy all at once. A lazy Pokemon. Cool. Cool. Ding! Yo, this game is chugging right now. Alright, so maybe I should just go to the Pokemon Center and heal my guy. We Oh, Scyther, get out of there, man. Woof! Remember when we did the Premier Ball Challenge and caught all of our entire team with Premier Balls? How cool is that? <laughs> Alright, here we go. Let's go get that Scyther. I know you can find a Scissor over here, too. Be lucky if I can get one. So I don't have to trade with, like, a Metal Coat? All right, here we go. Go. Dude, I don't have extras. That just costed me $1,000. <laughs> See, now, like, as a, as a broke champion, you have to really think to yourself, man, this Scyther just costed me 1000 bucks. Where am I getting that money from? Wow, first crack? Not even a shake? He's costing me 2,000 bucks right now. Come on, man. All right, last, this is $3,000. Okay, that was a $3,000 Scyther, man. Okay, great. Good job. Yay. Mantis Pokemon. It slashes through grass with its sharp scythe moving too fast for the human eye to track. 148. Do it, do it, do it. 
Boom. Yeah, I need to find a scissor. So I don't have to worry about... Oh, Big Bug? Yo, these guys are just having a conversation. Yo, let me in. Yo, this is uh, the evolution of the little spider. Tarantula. His name's Spidops. Why Tarantula turns into this thing? Beats me, man. Beats me. Beats me. Taking that, 149. It clings to the branches and ceilings using its threads and moves without a sound. It takes out its prey before the prey even notices it. Spide Ops. Trap Pokemon. Looks like a robot. Doesn't really look like a spider. Alright, I'm going to go over here to this and I'm going to see right now in notes. Uh, no, notes does not tell me. Hmm. Weird. Okay, tiny bamboo shoot. I could sell that for money. That's great. Oh, fun. Yeah, dude. That's Brute Bonnet. That's Brute Bonnet, man. Remember that? Remember Brute Bonnet? We got no explanation on why it had, like, moss growing on its head. Yo, this mushroom. Rage powder. We are so close. Give me this thing now. And I gotta find your little baby mushrooms too. I need these. You know, what's kind of interesting about these little guys is, yeah, they've got a Pokeball pattern on their head. Like, why would they just be out and about? Shouldn't they, like, look like a Pokeball? Kind of like Voltorb in, like, Generation 1. Remember that? Like, Voltorb legit was a Pokeball. And you, you clicked on it thinking you were going to get an item. And then it was a Voltorb. Like, why don't the mushrooms do that? Like, with a little glow coming out of it. And you go up to it and it's actually that thing. That would be so fun. Be wary of the poisonous spores it releases. Mushrooms resembling Amoongus's caps will grow out of anywhere the spores touch. Ooh, watch out. I need the little baby version. Where's he at? Yo, is that number 150? Is that Mewtwo? I gotta go find baby fungus around here. Might step on it. Ah! There's a Bisharp. I need Bisharp. There's drag. Oh, hi. Yo, look at this old man! <laughs> He's just watching the fish, man. He's minding his own business. On that 45 degree angle lean over here, man. Look at him. Uh, this is Oranguru. Oranguru is an exclusive for Pokemon Scarlet, which is super fun. Oh gosh, I thought it froze for a second there. 151, Mew, baby. Bing! Alright, Oranguru. Uh, people used to mistake Oranguru for a human when they saw it issue command after command to the other Pokemon in the forest. Issuing commands. Wow. Okay, so Passimian is his counterpart, available only in Pokemon Scarlet. And look, a baby spore! Give me that! Alright, little baby mushroom. It's gonna cost me a thousand bucks. Enjoy it. Alright, we'll get him for 152. There we go. Perfect critical capture. Quadruple backflip. Good dismount. Perfect. We got some evolutions out of the way. This entire forest is looking good right now. It's looking real good. Fungus, 152, man. We're moving. Alright, there's a theory that the developer of the modern day Pokeball really liked Fungus, but this has not been confirmed. No. No, that's unacceptable as a Pokemon entry. No, that's unacceptable. Why are you going... This is a Pokedex entry. You have to put confirmed facts on it. I don't think so, man. Who invented the modern day Pokeball? Is that Professor Oak? I don't know, man. There's no way. I don't think so, dude. I'm calling that out. Alright, we got work to do, but there's a lot of Pokemon near us, so let's, let's take a breather over here. Oh, Heracross! Cool! Anyway, 
let's continue looking in this forest. We got Heracross. We got Bisharp. We got, uh, who else in the area? I don't know, a Pawnyard we can find. Uh, there's an Arcanine nearby. There's a Luxray. There's a lot of cool Pokemon in this area. So let's keep on finding them and uh, hopefully get to like, I don't know, 175? I don't know. We'll see. Thanks for watching. Okay, tell me about that. Tell me about that concept of a Pokedex entry with an unconfirmed theory as its data. That's like publishing an encyclopedia with just theories on it, but not really an actual factual thing, right? Like a like a dictionary, making a new dictionary and like the words, I think this word means this as the definition. Like, no, that's unacceptable. I don't think I've ever been this picky about Pokedex entries before, guys. <laughs> oh, it's funny. Anyway, Flop, thank you so much for the super chat a little bit earlier. You too, Brent. Appreciate you guys. Um, thank you for all the support. But yeah, Shiny Ball 2023, for sure, for sure. We'll do it. All right, you guys ready? We got a little bit more. We got a little bit more to do. I think we're going to try to get to like 175 at least. Ideally get to 200. That would be fun. It is currently two and a half hours of streaming. Yeah, maybe we'll do like another uh, hour. I think we'll do another hour and then we'll call it a day and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Let's do it. Okay. You guys ready to catch some more Pokemon? We're at 152 out of 400. There's a Heracross and a... Ooh. Uh, remind me? Shinx's evolution? Uh, Luxray. Luxray, man. Psychic Fangs, Luxray. Let's go. Love this. Luxray in the forest? Dude, there's a lot of cool Pokemon in this bamboo forest here. I really like it. Beautiful. Just like that. Just like that, 153. Beautiful. Carry on, carry on then. Shinx Fang, we got four of them. All right, Gleam Eyes Pokemon. It can see clearly through walls to track down prey and seek its lost young. What? Luxray has X-ray vision? I'm sorry. Okay. Did not know that. Where's Heracross? I'm going for Heracross, man. Uh, I want this, though. Fire Blast. I'm going for Hera. I wish I had a pink Heracross. You know how to tell the difference between a male and a female Heracross? Take a look at the horn shape. Right over here. If the horn shape looks uh, like a little heart, it's a female. Yeah. Come on. Don't cost me a thousand bucks, dude. Oh, boo. She did not want to come in. Wow. Look at that. 15 frames a second. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Wee. Yo, the low kick's over here, man. All right, kind of looking around over here. Like, I like that you can still pan around, but I do miss the ability to, like, run around as your character. Thank you. All right, 154. We're in. Let's keep on going. Heracross. Okay, bug fighting. Loves sweet nectar. To keep all the nectar to itself, it hurls rivals away with its prized horn. Wow, cool. Okay, I still got to get a Bisharp, and I still got to get the Pawniard. So I'm hoping I can... Oh. You're not the one I want, guy. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, moving on, moving on. Who can we find here? Oh, bears sitting down. Okay, the Berenstein Bears. Still getting a lot of these Luxray. That's kind of fun, actually, seeing those guys. And Baby Shinx, cool! May I have a baby, please? A level 50 baby? That's a big baby. 
That's like one XL candy, and then it like it'll just evolve for us, which is really fun. All right, get it. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Do it. One, two, three, and in, baby. We just need the middle form, and I don't know where we're gonna find the Luxio, but if we need to evolve it, we'll evolve it. Whatever. I'm not trying to, like, manually evolve any Pokemon. I want to be able to find everything in the wild. Okay, the extension and contraction of its muscles generates electricity. It glows when in trouble. What a cutie! I wish I had a shiny version, like the little gold one. That'd be awesome. Okay, so we still need Lux... Oh, okay. Oh, dang. Mama comes over here and is like, Yo, you just took one of my babies. You're gonna pay. Or is this... Yeah, no, this is the father. The father. No shinies, huh? No Ponyard. No Bisharp. Ponyard, dude, like go. Where's your where's your little army of men? Of chess pieces. Like where are we at? Uh, who's this? Oh, Cricketot! Hey, this is four new Pokemon right here. Yes! Okay, so we got Cricketot, Cricketune, Ponyard, and Bisharp. We're gonna get all of them. This is four in a row right now. We're gonna have 159 in a, in a couple seconds here. Look at those guys. They're all just in the back right now. This is great. And the other Cricketot are... Yeah, they're so afraid. Cricketot. Remember we found a shiny Cricketot, didn't we? It was like golden. I was trying to get all the golden shinies in Legends Arceus. That was so fun. All right, here we go. Cricketot. Its legs are short. Whenever it stumbles, its stiff antenna clack with a xylophone-like sound. Cool. One foot tall. Hurry. I've got some Ponyard and Bisharp to catch, please. Where'd Cricketune go? Oh, I was going to say, they all scattered. They saw me coming, and they're like, all right, everyone out. Run for yourselves, man. Run for your lives. All right, the conductor. Isn't there a visual tell on male and female Cricketoon? Isn't it based on their mustache length? Bug buzz. Oh, yeah, that was so fun. Here we go. Come on, buddy. Cricket Tune with the mustache. I must ask you a question. Why are you wasting my thousand dollar Pokeballs here? One, two, three. Easy peasy. Bam, bam, bam. Great. Okay, perfect. Give me that one. 156. Um, is that 156? Uh, by allowing its cry to resonate in the hollows of its belly, it produces a captivating sound. Whoa. Maybe 157. Yeah, yeah, I think we're 157. Yeah, correct. All right, I did not get that cricket tune. All right, here we go. These boys, yes. This is the one and only Bisharp you need to catch. The one that is among all of the... Pawniard. Uh simply because they have the item called the Leader's Crest attached to them. Beautiful. That's exactly what we want. Perfect. 158. Pawniard Blade. <laughs> this Pokemon commands a group of several Pawniard. Uh, groups that are defeated in territor territorial disputes are absorbed by the winning side. That's right. Okay, I'm going to make sure that that's the one that we wanted because King Gambit is... Ooh, hey, hello. Hey, little guy, you can come with. I, you're just the one I'm looking for. Because uh, King Gambit, you need the Leader's Crest item. So, here's hoping. Okay, here we go, here we go. Uh, 
All right, Pawniard will fearlessly challenge even powerful foes. In a pinch, it will cling to opponents and pierce them with the blades all over its body. Wow. This little guy. Sharp blade Pokemon. Good to know. Good to know. 159. All right, that's so good. We're getting up. Hey, little guy, come on, man. If you're not blue, I don't need you. You can run. Who else is in this forest, man? I think we got everyone taking a look at this. Um, what I do want to look at really quick is I want to see in the boxes for these Bisharp. If we got the one with the Leader's Crest, we should have, though. Oh, wow. This is really good. Um, I don't know what box it's defaulting to. These boxes load really slowly. Yeah, we got the Leader's Crest on it. Okay, cool. With the ability Defiant. That's that's okay. I like the other ability, but that's okay. All right, anyway, anyway. So there's an Arcanine somewhere in the area. I would love to find it. I'm going to take one more spin through this bamboo forest. In hopes that we can find something. Oh, gosh. Um, in hopes that we can find something really cool. We got 159 right now, so there's a lot of Pokemon left. I wish I could find this Arcanine, but uh, I have not seen a wild Arcanine in this forest in a while. Might be up on the cliffs. Might be. And it's really dark out, so... I don't know. Oh, cool! Yeah, there he is, there he is. That's so fun. Hey, wait a second. No, not the baby. Um, hello? You saw me clearly throw it at the, the mom in the middle. So, Growlithe and Arcanine. Uh, Growlithe was... I remember when I first played Pokemon Red. I played... Was it red or blue? I think it was blue. Um, I played through Pokemon Blue and Growlithe was an exclusive for Pokemon Blue. And when I came across that Pokemon, I said, you know what? This is my favorite Pokemon. It has a brave and trustworthy nature. It fearlessly stands up to bigger and stronger foes. This was my very first favorite Pokemon, Growlithe. Mm -hmm. This fire type was a little puppy. It was great. And then I took a couple more steps into Celadon City. And I saw Eevee and the Water Stone. So, yeah. Then Growlithe was history. All right, moving on. Here comes the dad. One, two, three, the dad. Got him, sweet, 161. All right, so we've got ourselves a puppy. We got ourselves a bigger puppy. And I think, I think we're good for the area. Let's take a look. An ancient picture scroll shows that people were captivated by its movement as it ran through prairies. Okay. It's a big puppy. Alright, we still need Magnazone. Dude, come on, dogs. I'm not here for it. I already caught one of you. Thank you, after turn effects. I'm scanning around to see if there's anyone else that I missed. Uh, Venomoth is coming out? That's kind of cool. I don't remember seeing that. I mean, we have a Venomoth because we caught that in the middle of the, um, the crater. We found that in the crater. Low Kick, Scyther, Golduck. Mm-hmm. Oval stone. Oh, okay. There's the little round to round chilla. Low kick, scyther. Man, it's all these Pokemon that we've kind of already seen. Phalanx. Whoa. Okay, I just want this. Thank you. <laughs> I'm just like dipping in and out. Uh, yeah, I don't see anyone that's new. Yeah, the Bamboo Forest was actually really fun. We got a lot of good Pokemon. So I think it's time to move on. I think it's time to move on. I don't see anyone that's new. We kind of already looked all over here. I got the Terra Pokemon that we needed to. There's no one in the lake. Dratini's available if you really want it. The second lake over here. Let's take a look. 
Cricket tune, got him. There's no one spawning in front of me. The game is chugging right now. Okay, Cricket tune, Orangaroo. Yeah, I think this is it. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Okay, so the next area that I kind of want to explore is over here. So let's make our way over to this lake. Yeah, we'll make our way over to this lake over here. I'll go to Fury Falls. And then we'll make our way to the lake. And then we'll go to the extreme east uh, coast of the map right over that way. And we'll see what's up. Oh, I'm literally at Fury Falls. Okay, that's fine. Climbing up Fury Falls over here. Wow, it's one of the eight. Ten Paldean wonders of the world. I think so. Oh, there's a terror. There's a wild terror type over there. Who is that? Do I know? I might want him. Let's see. Oh, it's just a den. I'm sorry. I thought that was a Pokemon. Okay, so we got Spoink. Uh, we got Spoink. I'm just going to open it right now so I get paid. Right? That's, that's money. Oh, Frigibax. So that's 1,000 LP, which equates to one quick ball. And I'm good. Knackle stack. All right, super potion. Oh, cool. Murkrow and Honchkrow. Nice. I do not have these, so this is great. Yeah, yeah. Murkrow probably only comes out at night, which is good. So we found a time of day exclusive Pokemon. Yo, Honchkrow just booked it. I got to go get that thing. Honchkrow's in the back. I should have gotten that one first. Oh no! Hey! Wow, hi! Oh, I'm going. Yeah, you? <laughs> Alright, here we go. I'm gonna eat a hit. Honchcrow. So, what is that? Dawnstone? Duskstone? To get the Honchcrow? Mmm, nasty plot. Oh, okay. Bye bye Wow. Come on, man. Go, go, go. Ah, uh, that Noibat. What is he doing? <sighs> okay, okay. Come on, we just need these Pokemon. Like, hurry up. I wish I could just turn off the um, battle effects, dude. Here we go. You really want to do this right now. He is costing me $5,000. Okay, we got this right now. Alright, he's he's in advanced evolution, so it's natural that his capture rate is gonna be a little bit harder. So you know what? We're gonna give it to him. Uh maybe like a three hit. Fall play? Cool. Great. I just don't want to be at a point where it's like I keep on trying the quick balls and I keep on losing them, man. I'm broken this game. Oh, why did I use a quick ball? That's not good. Oh, that's a misclick. Good thing it was in the master ball misclick. Dude, I just wasted another thousand bucks, man. Quash. Not working. Here we go, here we go. It is nighttime. I have some dusk balls. I did purchase them for a reason. And you evolve from a dusk stone. Hello? Go! Shake! Nope. Nope. Wow, that took a long time. I even forgot what number we're at. Are we legitimately at 162? 
Because that's rough, man. That took a long time. We were getting like a Pokemon a minute. It's merciless by nature. It is said that it never forgives the mistakes of its Murkrow followers. Wow. The Dawn. All right, here we go. We gotta get... Oh, thank you. Perfect. All right, 162 looks legit. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Pokemon, let's go. Here we go. What? This little child is taunting me. Get a crit on that false white. Oh, you're going to taunt me again, man? Come on. All right, here's the Dawn Dusk, dusk Ball. Dawn Ball. Go. We got this. Good job. Murkrow's capture rate was ridiculously hard for some reason. No idea why. All right, but hey, we got them both. Add it to 163. Uh, feared and loathed by many, it's believed to bring misfortune to all of those who see it at night. Watch out. Ding. Okay, great. I do not want to see another haunch crow, mur mur crow, anything, any kind of crow ever again. This is like a little Noibat area. I could find a Noivern over here if I'm lucky. Oh, dude, camera up and normal, yeah. Okay, gimme, give gimme give camera. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> this, these guys are, they remind me of Paris in Pokemon Legends Arceus, man. What a joker. I need to get the camels though. Mega camera upped. Remember when this guy got a mega? Yes. Camera up. It lives in the crater of a volcano. It is well known that the humps on its back erupt every 10 years. What? Oh my gosh. So like, all the babies that are born? So it's like non-stop erupting? Like every... I don't know, every day there's probably new Nummel that are born that evolve into Camerupt. That's interesting to think about. But then what happens with the lava and magma? What happens to the magma when it erupts? Is it just on the ground? Does, it, does that create mountains? Is that how the mountains are created here? They all just stand in, a, in like a circle and they erupt together? Like, what is this? I don't know, man. It's weird. It's weird. All right, here we go. Magma of almost 2,200 degrees Fahrenheit courses through its body. When it grows cold, the magma hardens and slows it. Yikes. Yeah, it's a numb Pokemon. Okay. Fascinating. Oh, I gotta add two, yeah? Yeah, I add, I'll add two just for that. Perfect. Oh, we got Dratini over here. What else we got? Low kicks. Ooh, I need that. Ooh, who's that? I don't know, but I'm going to go take a look. Might be someone good. We need someone good. Holy Corviknight. Yeah, that's the good Corviknight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when I played through Scarlet, I think? When I played through Scarlet, I stumbled across this Corviknight uh, accidentally. And I found out that it was like, it was really good. Ooh, cool, cool, cool. Hold on. Hey, dude, I'm trying to get this Noivern. Anyway, so the cool thing about that Pokemon, uh, that Terra, uh, is that it has iron defense and it has body press. Dude, come on, man. Like, I'm just trying to catch this Noivern. Like, stop. So it has Iron Defense and Body Press. And Body Press is really cool. 
because if you... It's a move where it does more damage the higher your defense is than your opponent's. So you spend like two or three turns just like iron defending, and then you just proceed to body press the entire team. I think that was Violet or maybe Scarlet, I don't remember. But that's actually a really good Pokemon chilling out over there. All right, Noivern, great, great, great. That's perfect, that's a dragon type. Boom burst, really good. Okay, ultrasonic waves emitted by a Noivern can pulverize l a large boulder. This Pokemon has a cruel disposition. Wow. Ding. Great. Yep, we're filling up that Pokedex. Guys, guys, like, I gotta go. I gotta run, man. I, I can't hang out with you guys today. Stop frisking me. I gotta go. We gotta run, man. Okay, good, good, good. Let's get out of here. Okay. Awesome. Really cool area to find that Pokemon. Oh my goodness, it's a Sunflower. What are you doing out at night? Ugh. Save me a Sunstone, I guess. Wow. Oh, okay. I, I thought you only come out during the day or something, man. Like, your, your name is Sunflora. Great. Love it. Awesome job. We're doing the work here. This is beautiful. 167. Great. A sun current leaf. Yay. In the daytime, it rushes about in a hectic manner, but it comes to a complete stop when the sun sets. Oh, so maybe that's why it was stopped. Weird. Okay. Oh, and I have a sun current. This is great. Yeah, I probably was sleeping then. Dude, this guy needs to get off of me. Leave before I hit you with a outrage. All right, Pupitar, oh man, I thought that was Pupitar. Come on, there's some Vaporeon over there too. I thought there was like a wild Pupitar in the water for some reason because Golduck's head looked like a, a tiny little Pupitar. All right, there's nothing up here besides this weird spire. Uh, okay, okay, hi. Hi, it's me. Alright, this is not a good spot for me. Okay, so, Vaporeon's here. Yep, yep, these are all the Pokemon that I wanted. I want to take a look over here. Like, what's in this peculiar area? Can't ride Karide on here. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. Could you imagine just falling? Alright, there's a land bridge right over this way. Oh, this is the... The team star base. Oh, okay. Don't really care about that. The calf squad. Okay, there's that land bridge that I'm going to be looking for. Uh, there's an item here. You know what? I'll pick it up. It might be something cool. Like an ether. Okay. Give me that ether. What's this? Ooh, I like looking in nooks and crannies like this. This is fun. Three ultra balls? Wow. In one item? Experience candy small? Okay, calf squad base. Okay, so I'm actually going the opposite way that I want to be. I want to go this way. Okay. We're just going to be climbing. Hyper potion. I guess I'm going to go through the calf squad base and see what this land bridge is all about. Oh, this is the, where the leader was at. Oh, okay. Hey, it's Aerie. That's right. This is where Aerie hangs out. I really like her. I think she's really interesting. I want to see what she looks like underneath that brutal, that brute exterior. She's really good at battling Pokemon too, so that's kind of fun. She taught the entire uh, Team Star how to battle, right? Really cool story. So we're just uh, flying all the way around the DLC right now. Oh, Houndoom, yes please. And Houndor, thank you. Houndoom. Yeah, remember we got scared by a Houndoom at the very beginning of the game? And then Coridon came over here and like completely saved us.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're running. Okay, everyone else scattered, so this is fine. Alright, we're taking these fire fangs though, but like, I gotta get these quick balls in. Yeah, going back to the cave at the very beginning, whenever you're free to kind of backtrack a little bit, you get a hound door, which is a really good fire type. But if you're really looking for a good early game fire type, you'd probably use Charcadet. Yeah, this is this mom is pretty aggressive. Pretty aggressive. Go, 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 go. Excellent. Thank you. 167. We got to get to 75, man. Slowing down over here. All right, I got a little baby hound door this way. Okay, here we go. If you're burned by the flames, it shoots from its mouth, then the pain will never go away. What? Not even with a burn heal? Hold on. The pain will never. Wow. Tell me about that. The pain will never. Never go away. Levitating ball off the ground by this much. Cool. Love that. All right, cool. All right, got ourselves a Hound Dower. Is that how you pronounce it? I heard someone pronounce it that way once. Hound Dower. Uh, it's smart enough to hunt in packs. It uses a variety of cries for communicating with others. All right, is that 169? Dude, leave. Get it, get it, get it, hit it. I'm dour. <laughs> I still need Copperaja, man. We need to find that thing. Yeah, 169. Great. Alright, Copperaja. You're around here somewhere. I know you are. Oh my gosh, I almost just fell. Look at this. Wahoo. Copperaja, please. I need Q Fant, I need Copperaja. Oh, I have all these fire types. Thank you so much. Oh, there's a hidden stake right there. That's a light blue stake. Ooh, look at that. Giga Impact. I fell in the hole here. Oh, okay, great. Mm, goodbye. We'll get those stakes later. Don't you worry about it. Where's Houndor is everywhere? Where's Copperaja though, man? Grumpig. Is that a flesh-colored pig? No. Dang it. There you are. Found you. Where's the Q-Fant? Uh-huh. Give me that. 170, man. Yeah. Let's go, 170. That's really good. I'm gonna see if we can find a Q-Fant around here and then we're gonna, we're gonna take a little pause. 170 is good, man. We, we doubled our Pokedex count, right? Uh, this Pokemon was brought to Paldea long ago by people from a faraway land. It's so strong they can easily pull an airplane. Wow. It's so strong it can easily pull an airplane. Okay, so, oh yeah, there you are, there you are. Okay, okay, we got the babies. Oh, look at how cute this one is. It's a little silly elephant right over here. All right, this is the one that I wanted to end off with, so I'm, I'm glad that we got this. It's a lot of Pokemon tonight. Excellent, Q-Fant. What a cute Pokemon. It's a cute elephant, Q-Fant, right? <laughs> All right, here we go, here we go. Uh, using the pointy tip of its trunk, it carves off chunks of hard rocks to eat. It is very docile and helps people with physical labor. Oh, didn't notice that at a pointy little tusk. Cool. 
Yeah, we are slowly like moving across the entire continent, uh, choosing one little area at a time and just kind of exploring what there is, right? I swear if I see another Halucha though, these guys are really aggressive for some reason. Alright, I'm gonna take one little spin over. Yeah, that's who I want. There you go. Pupitar, baby! Oh, yeah! Pupitar, great, man. Can you find a... I don't think there's a Terra... Tyranitar in this game. At least not in my... My uh, time with it. Like, I've seen Pupitar and, and Larvitar. Like, I've seen these guys, but like... You would think that there would be a Tyranitar. Just like in the overworld. So let's catch this guy, and then hopefully we can find a Larvitar nearby. Uh, Pupitar is going to be an exclusive for Pokemon Scarlet, so if you guys have it and you want to trade for it, that's the one. Dude, that's 2,000 bucks, man. Alright, next one. One more time, one more time. We are hunting in the dark over here. Notice how it's, like, always dark, though? Thank you. Ending it off with 172. I don't know if Larvitar is over here. I just want to check out this little nook over here. All right. Uh, this pupa flies around wildly by venting with great force the gas pressurized inside its body. What are you talking about? Flying around wildly? I don't ever see that thing move. That's like a metapod. I don't know anything about that Pokedex entry. Like, at all. I don't know what that even means. Whenever I see this thing moving, it's like literally hopping like a metapod. So... Yeah, you're going to have to explain that one to me, game. All right. Well, uh, it's a good pause point right over here. 172. Uh, we could probably get to like 180 to 190 if we keep on going towards the south and finding other Pokemon. I'm excited for it, and I want you guys to join me with it. Let's do it. Let's find some more. I'm excited. Thanks for watching. Take a little breather. All right, friends, you guys got another half an hour? I'm feeling like one more half an hour, uh, which will give us about like three and a half hours of this live stream. Pretty fun. I mean, we're going through and we're breezing through these Pokedex entries. So just finding wild Pokemon. Uh, I'm just really excited for it. There's a lot going on. Quaquaval we need. I need a lot of these guys. But we're going to find them all wild. And that's the, that's the best part about this is just exploring over here and seeing what we can find. Anyway, you guys are great. Um, do you guys want to keep on going? Give me some thumbs up. If you guys didn't already, take a look at the playlist that we have on the channel. Do so. You guys are good to go. Let's, uh, jump in and find some more. We're finding more. Finding more Pokemon. Yes. Uh, where to find more Pokemon that we haven't seen before? Mm, yes, yes, yes. Here we are. Alright, so, uh, moving across this DLC... Uh, we have all of these guys. We have you. We kind of walked over in this area before. Uh, what I can do is we can actually start walking this way. Across the DLC and, like, we'll make our way back over here this way. And then we'll end off in the, um, in that little lake. I think that'd be a pretty good strategy. To kind of skim through and see what we missed, if anything. Phalanx, we got a blue stake right over that way. Don't have to worry about that. We've seen all of these Pokemon. Knackle Stack. Uh, this is the DLC area. It probably won't let us climb too far next to it because these rocks are exactly blocking that. Oh, there's Lavincia. And here's like a little mountain range with a little bit of grass. Like, what is this? Oh, I guess the elephants are over here. Kind of interesting. I'll go check out the other... Um, little spot this way. Okay, camera up. Low kicks everywhere, man. Is there like a... What is that? Oh, weird. Okay. I thought there was like a lake up here or something, but that's not the case. 
There's like little ledges though. That's kind of green. Yeah, a little greenery. All right, finding some rare candy up here. Like this is fine. There's a Lucario over here, but I didn't get a chance to check out this area. This area right down here was where we found our wild Terra. Is that Honchkrow? We found our wild Terra Dragonite over this way, which was real helpful. Oh, and then there's that whole con construction zone area, which we didn't really explore. So, I'm excited to go to the construction zone area again. That was really fun. With, like, Orthworm. With Orthworm Jim. Hey, Wild Dragonite. Hello. Hey, what's up, dude? Wild Dragonite. You got some goats. You got Noivern. Oh, who's this? Halucha. I don't think I have Vivian. Vivillion. <laughs> it's Vivian. Nice try. All right, here we go. Let's go get a Vivian. I don't think I evolved a Scatterbug, did I? Hey, it's level 50, though. We'll take it. Let's go. Let's go. One, two, three, and catch. Beautiful. Number 173. Excellent. Continuing on. Vivian! The patterns of this Pokemon depend on the climate and topography of the land it was born in. This form uh, is from a mysterious land. The fancy pattern. Dude, how many patterns of Vivian are there in this game? I don't know. I don't know if I want to find out. Yeah, we got Spoopa, though. I got Floet over here. Blissy! Oh, man. Yo, talk about friendship? Cool! That's a massive amount of experience right there if you ever find a Blissey in the wild. Holy moly. Give me this thing right now. Wow, okay. Sure, man. We're playing this game? I will gladly get you to 1 HP, but I'm not about to KO you. This is a rare sighting over here. Go. Go, 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 go. All right, this is already 2,000 bucks on you, Blissey. Like, I can't afford anymore. Like, can you please come with me, please? Thank you. Last resort? Oh, my goodness. All right. It's time. I need my Garchomp alive. Can you heal my Garchomp for me, please? I don't want to go into this menu and lose this Blissey. Can you just give me, like, a little healing? Don't you dare! Oh, she's booking it! Oh my gosh! Wow, she's like, oh, he's in the menu. I gotta go. I gotta go, I gotta go. Yo, she was booking it. I don't think so, man. Isn't the... Uh, how do you evolve Chansey into Blissey? It's friendship... And, like, Oval Stone or something? I don't know. I don't remember. Alright, but anyway, we didn't... It doesn't matter how you evolve it, because we just got ourselves the Pokedex entry. Alright. Uh, anyone who takes even one taste of Blissey's egg becomes unfailingly caring and pleasant to everyone. Oh, that's pretty great. Yo, let me get a bite of that. Although I'm already very caring and pleasant. Like, when people describe me, those are the two words that people use to describe me. Those are my adjectives. Caring and pleasant. Uh, yeah. Oh, come on. Mm. Yeah, no Terra Dragonite. That thing did not respawn. Big nugget. Oh my gosh, that's a big nugget. Yeah, that's like 5,000 bucks, I hope. Dragonite are everywhere around here. That's fun. We Goat? Nope. Uh, pigs? Nope. I need your second evolution, Shinx. Alright, so this is a good area. We've kind of explored this. Uh, no shiny goats. No... Okay, cool. Dragonite, awesome. Awesome. Who's this? Floet, blue flower? No, we're good. Okay, so let's jump. Uh, actually, I did say I wanted to go inside this. 
I wanted to go inside the um, inside this little lake over here. I wanted to explore that because I didn't yet. And then after that, we're gonna jump over the river and then head on over to the construction site. I think I still need Diglet. I think I still need Orthworm. Uh, I got Reverum. What is this? Oh, it's a gimme. Hi, what's up, dude? I think there's a gimme. Here we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, we wanted to fly this way. There was a lake over here. I don't see any other shining items. We don't have to worry too much about that. Yeah, lake is right over this way. Was that an item? Uh, somewhat. Doesn't matter. All right, come on, let's go find it. 174, is that right? Uh, maybe like 175? No, 174 is legit, okay, fine, fine. Oh wow, here's this lake, okay, okay. This is the lake that we were looking for. Halucha everywhere, can you just leave? No thanks. Okay, so these are like little steps over here. So maybe there's something cool on each of these steps. Like, who's this? Oh, Honchcrow? No thanks. Citrus? No thanks. There's a little lake over there. It looks pretty cool. Murkrow. Wow, okay, so we got rid of all these steps. Noibat. Gonna take a look over here. One little item. Oh, Makuhita! Yo, and Big Mama's house. Makuhita and Big Mama's house is coming right here. Uh, Hariyama. Big Mama's house. And it was actually the mom of the four children. Well, guess what? You're coming with me. Alright, come on. Let's do it. <laughs> 175 is a good number. I really want to get to 200 so bad. All right, it loves challenging others to tests of strength. It has the power to stop a train with a slap. Wow. A train. There are no trains in here. What is a train? There's no trains in Paldea. Hmm. Weird. All right, Makuhita. Make you hit a... How do you, how do you pronounce this Pokemon's name? Make you hit a... Make you hit a what? Make you hit a wall? Alright. Done. 176. Great evolution. Done. They're out of here. Makuhita sweat. We just jar all the sweat that it drips off its side. Uh, it grows stronger by enduring harsh training. It's a gutsy Pokemon that can withstand any attack. Now why does it get KO'd whenever I use a hit? I don't know about that, man. That doesn't sound right. All right, wow, cool, great. See you later. Yo, with, withstand this attack. Your Pokedex entry says this, but um, actually, you can't. All right, well, we're on the great path to finding new Pokemon, like a Rookie D and this dude, the middle form, uh, Corvusquire. Yeah. Oh, I'm too nervous to eat berries. What am, what's gonna happen? Dude, no. Unbelievable. Who are you plucking over here? Get swiped. Alright, so now the sun is actually coming out. We're gonna have good visuals here. One great ball. Floating in the air. It's so great it floats. How? What? And it's still hovering right there, up and down. Alright, I think I have Rookie D. I like Rookie D a lot, man. That's one of my favorites. Alright, Corvusquire. It's said that the reason behind Corvusquire's high level of intelligence is the large size of its brain relative to uh, those other bird Pokemon. Okay, so it's a smart bird. It's cool. Yahoo! And I do have Rookie D. Hey, come on, man. Like, I get it. You're gonna have to grow up now. Mommy's not here anymore. You gotta go. 
All right, taking the mummy, and we are moving. We are moving. I'm so glad we went on that little cliff over there. Who's in this water area here? What is this? Look at three items. What are they? Experience candy? Small, medium, and let me guess a large. Hey, I would totally program that too. Good job. And it's a five star Dragalgy. I don't need a Dragalgy. Whoa. Golduck. Okay, Ultra Ball. Who's this? Oh, Mimikyu? Oh, cool. Hey! I can go get a Mimikyu elsewhere, not a big deal. No, I'll just catch it right now. Why would I not? Alright, cool, Mimikyu, let's do it. Alright, Mimikyu, this is actually a very high level Mimikyu too, so if you're looking at a good Pokemon to catch, this one right here is going to be great for ya. Uh, he also has... This is going to be very hurtful. He has... The ability that just breaks the first hit. And then now he's going to proceed to like... Oh, curse up? Okay. Great. Attack rising. Defense rising. Okay. With a busted disguise. No one's ever seen what Mimikyu looks like underneath that, right? Level 65 is very high level. You're kidding me. Great. He's gonna curse again. Whoa, what's under there? Whoa, whoa, secret areas. I don't... What did he just do? He cursed... Oh, no, man. Okay, great. Ugh. A ghost type using the move curse? Yeah. That's like instant KO. That's not cool. Okay. Well, don't worry. I know where we can find more Mimikyu. Wow, that was sad. That was sad. Uh, Bisharp. We've got goats. That goat was sliding right off. Okay, so here we go. This is the entire excavation area. I think we're gonna we're just gonna jump down there and see who we can find in the excavation zone. Wahoo! Yeah! Boom! Never getting hurt by heights. Can you imagine that? Doug Trio, I do have. Makuhita and Q Fant, I do have. Let's look around. What Pokemon do you think I'll use? Uh, actually, I don't. I don't really want to be bothered with guessing the Pokemon I think you're gonna use. No. No. Carcoal. Yeah, Carcoal. Carcoal and uh, what's his name? Raleigh Collie. Yeah, yeah. There's a Raleigh Collie over here, man. What you know about Raleigh Collie? <laughs> Not a timer ball. No, wrong one. Uh oh. That's like a premier ball with like a, a mohawk. What? I never use those things. What in the world? Uh, Roly Coley. Got ourselves a Roly Coley. On sunny days, Roly Coley will come out onto grassy plains and roll around. Then it'll eat the grass that gets tangled in its wheel like leg. Cool. All right. Oh, Torkoal, dude. I see it. I see it. Stop, stop, stop. Hurry, 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 hurry. Go, 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 go. I don't want that Torkoal to despawn. Or this Raleigh Collie's brother. He's kind of happy. He's got like a little smile. Look at look at this guy's face. Yeah. Oh, oh, not those teeth. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. He's got like a little side smile. But like when he opens it up, he's got those jack-o'-lantern teeth. <laughs> Oh my god, dude, jack-o'-lantern teeth. You know, because that's how you carve teeth on jack-o'-lanterns. I need to get that Voltorb too, man. We got a lot of stuff over here. Here's Carcoal. The temperature inside its body increases when it experiences strong emotions. It rolls around frantically while spewing flames. Just rolling around with the boys. <laughs> it's funny. 
It's actually funny. Hello. Welcome. I don't know where to find the last one, but we need to get two things over here. Oh, Orthworm is there? I need this guy. He's got the permanent plume. I remember using Torkoal in like a doubles battle VGC team, which was real cool, right? Like Torkoal would set up the sun on his first turn and then we'd use like sun shenanigans. Hey, critical capture. We'd use some like sun shenanigans. Are we at 79? I haven't been paying attention. I'll take a look right now. Ready, ready, ready. It burns coal inside his shell for energy. It blows out black soot if it's endangered. Yeah, I've been like on a roll. I'm like seeing these Pokemon and I'm catching them. Like I'm not even updating my counter. Like I'm so excited to see new Pokemon. All right, let's take a look. Yeah, 180, one, two, three. Uh, is that, a, that's a Voltorb. Don't you explode. Oh, we got one time. Yeah, do it. Do it, do it. Don't blow up, Voltorb eyes. Yeah, critical capture with the quadruple backflip. Good dismount. Let's do it. Let's go. Voltorb. It rolls to move. If the ground is uneven, a sudden jolt from hitting a bump can cause it to explode. So, a Voltorb, when it explodes, it just KOs itself and faints, right? And then it just, like, wakes up with, like, 1 HP and, like, tries to eat food to get back to normal. Like, am I understanding that correctly? Because there's... Oh, yes! Bramblin'. Yeah. Because, like, there's no way that it can just, like, explode out of existence. Like, that's a pretty short lifespan for a Pokemon, right? It's just rolling around, and if there's a rock, it's going to trigger it and explode. Like, then that's the end? No, I don't think so. I think it, like, explodes to, like, 1 HP or something, and, like, is, like, weakened in a weakened state. I think I'm at 182 right now, yeah? Bramblin, a soul unable to move on uh, onto the afterlife, was blown around by the wind until it got tangled up with dried grass and became a Pokemon. Hmm. Wow, that sounds like another kind of uh, being that we know about, that I hear whispers about. That is interesting. A soul unable to move on gets caught up with the with the wind and like grass and turns into that mm. uh, uh, I don't know about that but it's not to say that you know Pokemon yokai can't be Pokemon right like it's all rooted in Japan right it's fine there's a lot of Pokemon that are already yokai it's all right it's not an infringement I need colossal Hey, hey, come on! That thing, the silly cobra just ran away and I got attacked by a bird! Oh man, I need a silly old cobra. You! Oh! Yo, that's a four, that's a six-headed diglet over there. What? What is that? Oh man, I lost. Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh. Ooh! This bird is scaring me. Come on, I gotta go find two Pokemon. I need to find Silly Cobra, and I need to find Orthworm Jim. And Colossal. I don't know where Colossal is. I got Reverum. Is this an actual cave? Whoa. Oh, hi! Hello there! What's up? Wait, what? Why are you the tarot version? I'm not ready for that. I mean, I guess. I didn't realize that Terra Espeon is in two different spots. Beats me. 
Because the Terra Espeon that I saw was like above ground and like in the corner. That's fun. We'll catch the Terra Espeon, that's fine. Like I'm I'm good with that. The Eevee evolutions are so good. Espeon is like number three, number three for me. I just think that Espeon is so good with its ability. Magic Bounce, so good. Have we figured out how to get hidden abilities in this game? Like, is that a, is that a thing? Can you get hidden ability Pokemon? I haven't really done the research on it, to be honest. Um, Espeon's hidden ability is Magic Bounce. So, ow, oh, that's kind of like that. Um, yeah, Magic Bounce, where if you use a, like a non-attacking move, like that 100% gets bounced back. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to keep on trying the Premier Ball Challenge, though. Like, if I'm going to get a Terra Espeon, like, I 100% want to get Premier Ball on. Here we go. I like Sylveon number two. Vaporeon's number one. I like Sylveon a lot. I think they just buffed up Sylveon so much in the generation that it debuted that it's just so competitively good. Anyway, so we got ourselves a an Espeon. Uh, the tip of its fork tail quivers when it's predicting its opponent's next move. Okay, so we're gonna put that in our boxes. That was a Terra Espeon too. I like that a lot. It was really fun. I did not expect to see that in a little cave over here. Uh, the Pokemon that we really need is like Orthworm. I need Diglett. I need um, Silly Cobra. So we'll find him. Maybe we'll find an Electrode along the way. Oh, hey. Look at him just standing straight up like that. Cool. Oh, that that Voltorb's exploding. Look, look, look. Boom! It exploded and like spawned out of there. It's gone. That's fun. It's like, yo, you're too slow. This thing literally tripped on a pebble and exploded. Goodbye. I think my least favorite Eevee evolution is Glaceon. I mean, they're all really good. There's, no, there's nothing wrong with Glaceon. I just think it's a little redundant. This is a little redundant, right? Because you already got, like, water and, like, ice covered with Vaporeon. Why didn't we have, like, something ground, rock? Something like that. Or steel with Eevee, right? Steel would be really interesting. I don't know how they would pull it off. But does there need to be an Eevee of every type? No. I don't think so. Alright, come on. Let's get this Orthworm Jim over here. We'll name him Jim. Dude, he is... He is being mean. Okay, here we go. You. Is this the Titan? I heard that you can catch the Titan. I'm gonna I'm gonna actually check just in case. I don't know where the Titan is, but if this is him, you, I know I heard you have like one chance at getting him. No. No. Dang it. Okay, okay. I'll I'll find out. I'll do some more research on that. All right, got ourselves an Orthworm. Let's keep on going, man. I don't know that sound effect. What is that? Okay, so we're we're in this little area. Meowth, Larvitar, Gumshoes. What? Um. 
core coal we got. Okay, little birds. I'm good. One was like a watchtower. Yeah, Skidoo, I don't have... Believe it or not, did not catch this guy. This has to be a catch. Oh, I should have 184, 185 right now, yeah? 185! Almost at 190. Can we get five more Pokemon? I need Silly Cobra, that's one. Skidoo, until recently, people living in the mountains would ride on the backs of these Pokemon to traverse the mountain paths. Cool. Until recently? Why'd they stop? Silly Cobra! And Meowth. Nice. Yeah, who's being silly now? Get over here. Silly Cobra? Tell me about that name. Why do they name it Silly Cobra? Is there something humorous? About his face? Is there something funny about my face? Oh, what is that? Uh, sand snake. Silly Cobra. Silly Cobra's neck pouch, which can inflate and deflate like a balloon, gets more elastic each time Silly Cobra sheds its skin. I mean, he doesn't look silly. Ow. Oh, look at it. It's made out of silicon. No, I, I, that's what I was kind of thinking, like... There's a lot of neck pouches and neck sacks in this game, I'm noticing. A lot of Pokemon have that. Alright, come on, man. Oh, uh, Bramblin, I got you. Uh, did, where'd that Meowth go? Oh, uh, Meowth, that's right. Meowth, hey, Larvitar, sweet! Yeah, exclusive, baby! He's a silly cobra. Don't shake out now. Excellent. Uh, what? Two more? 87? Come on, man. We can we can catch three more. I know there's a Meowth in the area. Larvitar Claw. Born deep underground, this Pokemon becomes a pupa after eating enough dirt to make a mountain. Come on. Come on, we got it. I'm I'm into 190, man. We're so close. 186? Oops. That's one too many. Alright, where's Meowth at? Where's Meowth that's right? Oh, come on, Meowth that's right. Where were you, dude? There's Meowth that's right. Hey, get him. Meow. Yeah, yeah, meow, that's right. Got him, now we're at 187, good job. Okay, can we catch three more? Oh my gosh, to 190, what a beautiful. Uh, all it does is sleep during the daytime. At night, it patrols its territory with eyes aglow. Ding! All right, we gotta go find a Persian now. We gotta go find the boss. All right, there's a light bulb. Little belly bulb. Bramblin. I don't know what the evolution of Bramblin looks like. It's like, it's still the same thing. But I couldn't be able to pick it out in the wild if I was asked to. It's too new. Max Potion? Come on. We need some other Pokemon here. Look at this. q -fent. Look at this area. What an exploration. What is supposed to be built over here. What is this for? Trash cans. T. 
TMs, other items, scaffolding. Like, what is this? Why am I even wasting my time? There's no Pokemon here. Satisfying my curiosity for rare candy. Nope. Power gem? Like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, help, help. <laughs> Yo, this game's good. These physics are great. All right, next. Well, I grabbed that from the other side. Okay, you know what, I don't, I need Pokemon. I don't need Awakening and stuff like that. I don't need a long Earthworm. I don't need Torkoal. I don't need Psyduck. I don't need Roly Coly Coal. Wow, look at Hariyama. A Poké Doll, cool. What? Who's that? All right, Basculin, let's go. I'm desperate at this point. A Garchomp, you got this? Okay, so I got an Aracuda and I got a Gar um a Basculin. I still remember we found a shiny Basculin. That was one of my favorites. We were just flying so high in the air in Legends Arceus, and then like I heard the sound and I was like, "Oh, what? Where?" And it was the most hard visual Visually different Pokemon to see. Like, we could not even tell. Um, I wasn't about to go into the water and start finding some new Pokemon, but I do want to end off in 190. Like, that's a good spot. Oh, they're just watching one of his brethren totally be strong right now. You know, you are... You're being rude, dude. Wow, that is a scary thing. Look at, look at these backup guys. All right, where's my dive balls, dude? I don't think I even bought any. Here, take out an Ultra Ball. Level 27, eat an Ultra Ball. Can you not? Dude, an Ultra Ball is expensive. I need to buy some, like, dive balls for these clowns. What is going on here? Tell me about this. Guys, I'm, I'm spending, f like, 5,000. First crack? I don't get it. And he's destroying me right now. And I got a paralyzed Dragonite right now. Okay, okay. So here we go. Breathe in. Breathe out. We got this. We're just going to end at 188. After I get this Basculin. He's very hard. Alright, now Ultra Ball and then we're set. See, I didn't buy any other balls in the game outside of, like, Quick Balls and a few Ultra Balls and some Dusk Balls. Those are the most important ones you need. Didn't buy any Net Balls or Dive Balls at all. Here we go. Now you are caught. One. Wow, wow, wow. Tell me, tell me about this. One HP, Paralyzed, and Ultra Ball. There's no way, man. Guys, there's no way a level 27 in the water over here. Okay, you know what? Last one. Last one and I'm out. You get one more. That's it. One. And I'm walking. Okay, you know what? Here. 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 I'm walking, dude. You can have it. You can be you can be brave in front of your friends, dude. That's fine. Be brave in front of your friends. You deserve it. You that took like 10 pokeballs. And that's like 10,000 bucks and I'm broke, dude. 
I'm a broke champion. I do not have that kind of money. So I'm not about to go catch water Pokemon like that without like the proper Pokeballs. That's unfortunate. You'd think that you'd be able to get it with the Ultra Balls, but anyway, no worries. Okay, man. Whoa, whoa, hey, 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 easy. Don't, don't come near me. No, I'm trying to say hello. All right, 187, yeah? Is that accurate? Yeah, 187. That's good. That's really good. So we can get some water Pokemon, but I think we still have to explore this like dig site, this excavation site area. I don't have a, I don't think I have a Diglett or Silly Cobra's evolution. We got a lot more to catch. So anyway, it's a great time. Uh, what do you guys say? Catch some more? Of course, we're always gonna catch some more. We gotta catch them all. We're almost halfway there. All right, I don't know. What are you guys thinking? 1012 right now? It's 1012 my time. I low key wanna get to 200. And Buizel over here wants to get to 200 too. I want to get to 200 so bad, so I can say I'm like halfway there. I don't know though. Depends on you guys. It's after midnight for some of you. Yeah, that's not good. There's 400 of you guys watching right now. I don't know. Should we continue tomorrow? I, I have to look and see where we have to go. Um... So we, we're really not... I don't really want to go in the water yet. I'm not equipped for that. And I don't have any money. Like, so I gotta somehow find a way of getting money in the game by doing, like, some Terra Raid battles. I don't want to do that one. Um, yeah, yeah, we could. We could if you guys want to. But, you know what? I'm Actually, let's, let's call it a day. Let's call it a day. I see some of you guys already heading out already. Let's call it a night. Okay, so I'm gonna save right here. Let's save. We'll get to 200 and plus tomorrow. 187 is really, really good work. I mean, if you think about it, we got like 100 Pokemon today. Which was so good. Uh, taking a look, did any of them have any wild items? I always like checking that. This Chansey had an Oval Stone. Kind of interesting. Bisharp had its item, which is kind of cool. Anyone else? Oh, Azumarill had Mystic Water? Oh, because that was my old Azumarill. Okay. Fascinating. Yeah. So, a chance he had an item, but not a, not, not the item that we actually want to, so. All right. Uh, next up, we are going to go into collecting the rest of these Pokemon. I'm just going to go get some sleep and we'll work on it tomorrow. All right. So, uh, other than that, I wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, do me a favor. Uh, head on over to the King Gambit Guide. Um, I want you guys to all help me out with that one since that was the video that I worked on today. Whoa, hey, easy. Um, this is the video that I worked on today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in the chat so that you guys have access to it. Come on over, say that you guys are from episode six, and then we'll uh, we'll go from there. Uh, let me know if you guys like that kind of format where I talk about how to get the Pokemon, uh, how to evolve your Pokemon into there, and then we go into the moves that it learns, and then the whole competitive aspect. So let me know if you like that format, because I can. I really want to work on Palafin next. I really think that he's really awesome, and that's like the next Pokemon that I really want to just like learn about and see what it does and what move sets it can learn. Um, really excited for that. But other than that, we got other tips and tricks tutorial videos. I would love it if you guys would support that. Thank you so much. Um, because not only are we streaming and sharing our experiences with the game on how to beat and collect all the Pokemon, but we're taking a step further and making these little VODs so that you guys can use them as guides. So, uh, yeah, if that's not good enough, I don't know what is, man. All right, let's continue on. Let's get even more Pokedex entries tomorrow. It'll be a great time. Princess Luca, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, Floptimus, thank you. Alana, all of our mods, Dragon, Mel, uh, everyone that just snuck on by. All of our Abdallah Nation elites over at AbdallahSmash.com. Thank you so much for being here. All of our members, everyone that watched live, thank you so much. That's going to be it for me. Uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow for some more Pokemon. It'll be a fun time. Have a great rest of your evening. Take care.